Right, okay, we're live. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining me, guys. So, last time, um, you went to the library. You found a generic floor plan of Merlin's building. Uh, you know that nothing major happened in the last five years on the building. The apartment is on the top floor. You met Jane. You got her contact details. You know she works for Tritech. You learned Hernandez's patrol route. V went to talk to Amira, got asked to murder Jaxa. V got shot unconscious and captured by Jaxa. And Scrump and Arch, you left. Didn't you? We just yes, yes, yes. we left. <laughs> you forgot one important thing though. What's that? She really, really wanted the deed. She did. Yes, she <laughs> did. She yes, yeah, she was very, very much so. Um, right. So, Scrump and Arch, you're back at your apartment, or you're heading back to your apartment. Is that correct? Um. Well, we were outside the the block for half an hour, right? Uh. Yeah. We were like having like a, a a powwow in an alley somewhere, I think. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what are you doing? Um, I don't know. <laughs> don't just know. Hang, hanging out in an alley, thinking, "Shit, we just left V up there." Yeah. Well, we we <laughs> <laughs> we were expecting the goon squad to show up and fucking rape us again. So. That's true. <laughs> we, we we ran away nobly, like complete cowards. Um. Hey man, save save your own skin first. Um. So what's what's the plan? I don't know. Are we gonna are we gonna launch hashtag Operation Saving Private B? I think we should, because uh, well, we have been here. No one's really been going in and out of the building, so no goon squad. And all the likelihood, he hasn't called for any other form of reinforcement. So probably best to get in there and see what we can see. Uh, yeah. Question: um, Is am I conscious? Maybe I can talk with him and you are have not a deal with this. Okay, because I had an idea to make a deal with him to okay, get out of You're not conscious. So. All right. Arch and Scrump, what are you doing? Um, ooh, we should, should we approach the door again? I don't know. How, how, how are we going to begin our arch? We need to form a plan. We do indeed. Well, the best option is probably to try and get in the same way we did last time, we're just waiting for someone to leave. We are somewhat pressed for time, though, because V is critical, which means he's bleeding out, and all due likelihood he's already dead, but maybe he isn't. Well, we can, we can at least check. I mean, he, he's got some quite valuable things on his corpse if he is dead, so... Indeed. We, we didn't just leave V in there, we left a shotgun in there. I think that's very important. Yeah, the fact that you care is really shivering my heart right now. <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, it's you're okay, V, but you're not a shotgun. I mean, come on. That's true. A double barrel shotgun, man. I mean, yeah. I mean, you don't even have any barrels. You forget the fact that the guy might have valuables in the house. Well, that too. I mean, you know. That's a good <sighs> point. All right, we'll um we'll approach the door again and waiting for someone to come out. Okay. Um, how long are you just going to wait indefinitely? Are you? Yeah, we're going to wait until someone comes out of the building. <laughs> right. Uh, before we do that, um, I can. I'll wait by the door. Uh, Scrump, maybe you want to have a trip around the building if we can get around it since it's a block. See if you can notice anything like an, a rear door left open by mistake. Anything, because we should be at least productive, I guess. Okay, um, I'm going to circle around the building, and um, I don't know. Can I do an awareness check on the side of the building, the back of the building, and stuff like that, or will that be different roles? Well, lo looking for what specifically? I'm looking for alternate entrances. Oh, um, no, you, the, the building is part of like a block of buildings. Oh, so there's... You, you'd have to go to the end of the block and f or find an alleyway and go down there. Hmm. Oh, we have to go quite far then. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, a few, a few buildings down, you could probably find an alley and start looking. But it'd be in a, it'd be into a different building, wouldn't it? Um, well, you don't know until you go and look. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and explore then. I'll, I'll have a look around the building. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can travel I don't know, about 200 meters either direction, and there's an alleyway. Uh, so yeah, you can go down either one of these alleyways. They look pretty dingy. They're full of, you know, dumpsters, trash, some homeless people. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna walk down the dark alleyway. <laughs> uh, it is getting dark as well. 
Um, okay. Uh, yeah, you make an awareness check, I suppose. Okay. So, oh, Arch, what are you doing in this time? Oh, fuck, fuck. I, I, it's just... Uh, what, what, what are you doing while Scrump's busy rolling ones? <laughs> We're waiting for someone to exit the apartment and try to get in. All right, okay. Um, okay. Uh, right, Scrum, you walk around a corner and you realize that there are three people standing in front of you. They're not paying attention to you. Uh, they're just standing around smoking and talking. But they're filling, you know, the, the alley isn't very wide and they're blocking your way. Uh, hmm. 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 <laughs> what is what is stealth check against again? Let me just get my character sheet. <laughs> uh, stealth's a reflex skill. My reflex is uh, it's not that bad. Eight's um, pretty good. Um, I, I can. I guess I'll try to surreptitiously sneak past them. Like just, oh, just... no, you, you wouldn't be able to sneak past them. The, oh, the, right. the alleyway isn't wide enough for you to sneak. You'd have to go through the middle of them. Okay, I keep my head down and kind of walk, try and walk in the middle of them. They're blocking the way. Oh, are they just completely blocking it? The, yeah, the, the alley's like, I don't know, like two meet, three meters wide, and they're just like standing in a little circle in the middle of the alleyway. Two of them leaning on either side and one standing in the middle. Uh, hmm. <laughs> I shall. I shall greet these. Uh, I, I don't know. What, what do they look like? Make an awareness check. <laughs> See if you can roll more than one. I love how I love how dice rolls are like character judgments. <laughs> you know. Like I'm. I'm. I have. I have good stats, but my character is just bad at things. <laughs> I think that's what this means. Uh, what is my awareness? I don't know what the stats are now. There it is. It's four. So four plus. Sick. That's my intelligence. Um, mm. 18. God, an awareness check, man. I'm not asking you to do fucking... Oh, sorry, sorry. It's 18. Yeah, um... Okay, 18. Hang on. Um, they... They look like thugs, you know. They've got, like, cropped short hair. They're wearing, like, heavy, le heavy leather clothing. And the one on your right has... is looking directly ahead of him, but you can see... A tattoo on his cheek that looks like a snake. Ah. Uh, okay. All right, hang on a sec. Mm. <laughs> Maybe going down the dark alleyway was a mistake. Right. They don't seem to have noticed you. You're only you're only like fucking like ten meters away from them, but they haven't noticed you. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn around and try and go back to Arch. <laughs> okay, do you wanna make a stealth check? Sure. Um What's that plus so that's twelve. Uh right. As you turn around you aren't very silent and kick something like a bag or something over. And the they all notice you at that point and spin around to look at you. And one was like, who the fuck are you? Um, can I just keep walking the other direction? You could if you want. Uh, I I make muffled apologies and walk the other direction. <laughs> You're so English. Um, how, <laughs> how, how, how quickly are you walking? Uh, I don't know what you... Quite briskly. Brisk, let's say briskly. Briskly. What's your movement allowance in total? Um, I've got so many windows open. <laughs> how, how briskly can you walk? I can walk about... Uh, my, my run is 24. Your run is 24, right. Okay, so you, if you say move 12, that'd be a brisk walk. Yeah. Um, okay, you, you start walking off, and uh, they the guy who says, who the fuck are you, goes, hey, I was fucking talking to you. He starts, like, walking after you, and his two cronies follow him. Ah, oopsicles. Are you going to say anything? Um... <laughs> oh crap! What can I say? Um, I guess I could try fast talking them. I guess maybe. Hmm. What, what, what would I say to them though? You tell me what you want to say to them. I'll just shout after that I made a wrong turn. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's basically what happened. <laughs> uh, the guy who first spoke to you says, "Yeah, but I want to know who the fuck you are." 
he's getting more aggressive. Uh, and they, they, they've sort of upped their pace to try and catch up with you. Hmm. Okay, I'll... Um... You can say a random name and that you're from a few blocks. You're unconscious, mate. <laughs> This is this is Scrump's turn to fuck up, so leave him alone. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what I can say to them. Um, <laughs> well, you better make a decision. They don't seem very persuadable. Um, oh, you haven't actually tried yet. I, I guess. Um, um, <laughs> well, what are you gonna do? I just I. I don't know, I could make up a name. Um, I'll just tell them I'm like John Smith and that, that I'm, I don't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll, sh I'll shout a fake name at them. Okay, um, uh, roll a persuasion check. Persuasion. Well, it's not a one at least. Um, <laughs> God, my roll. Yeah. Yeah, persuasion. <laughs> two. Hey, two, two is as, as good as anything when... It comes to your dice rolling, to be honest. So I know, I know. Yeah. It's not your fault. It's it's genuinely not your fault, but it always feels like your fault. <laughs> Fifteen. Fifteen. Um, the guy just says, yeah, bullshit. Stop. Um, hmm. <laughs> He's like 200 meters away. Can I do an awareness check to see if I spot him? You can't see the alley, uh, down the alley from where you are. Oh, has he gone down the alley? Okay. Yeah, he went down the alley. Uh, I'm gonna break into a run and just run away from them. <laughs> yeah, okay. They, you, yeah, you just start running. Uh, you move 24, yeah. 24, yeah. Right, okay. Um, yeah, they they start running after you, and, you know, yelling "fucking stop" or you know you'll fucking get it. I'll just keep running. I'll keep running back towards Arch. <laughs> okay, right. you uh, you come out onto the main street, and they still are running after you. Uh, you can see Arch to your left. Um, or you can just carry on running, or you could go across the road, or something like that. Um, I'll, I think I'll run back towards Arch and, and yell, Arch, Arch, we have a problem. Arch, I went down the wrong alleyway, Arch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. You, you come out of the alley and start running towards Arch, yelling. And uh, <laughs> these guys, just they're in full-on you know, pursuit mode. And they, they're yelling, and you know, they're, they're saying, fucking stop. Or we're gonna fucking shoot you. Um, there's, there's, I, probably, there's probably about I don't know 50 meters between you. Hmm. <laughs> that's that's quite that's quite far, I guess. Yeah, it is. Um. I don't know. Are they gaining on me? They are gaining on me. Crap. Should have. Uh, should have run. I should have learned to run faster. I should have joined the track team. Hmm. What's the plan? I'm going to keep running, I think. Okay, Arch, what are you doing? Ah, I really don't want to start a firefight here. He's running towards me, yeah? He is. He's about 100 meters away. Okay. The entrance way, is it like one of those shielded entrance way where you have the door kind of set yeah, in? Yeah, yeah, it's in a recess, yes. Okay. In which case, I go to the opposite recess, the one that's closer to them, to try and hide myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, I think I pull out my gun here. Because <laughs> better fucking safe than sorry at this point. <laughs> okay, uh, make a stealth check. Where is that? Stealth check. That's combined to stealth, 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 stealth. Uh, reflexes, is it? Uh, yeah, yes. It is reflex, yes. <laughs> Four plus... Seven. So, eleven. Eleven, yeah. Uh, no, the, the, the... As you, like, draw your gun and sort of move to the side... One of the guys yells at you, Oi, I fucking see you, which is quite impressive, to be honest. He's quite fucking far away. I was going to say, we've got, like, eagle eyes over there. Yeah, I, I, I rolled 17 for him, so it's like, oh, okay. Jeez, did he crit? 
<laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah, crit a ten and then a seven, and then his stats. And it's like, okay, fuck. <laughs> he, he he knows you're there. <laughs> he fucking sees you. Um, right, okay, well, are you are you gonna fight them? Are you? I I, I guess I guess we don't really have much of a choice. Not really. If they're faster than you, you can't run. And since he somehow assumed I was in tow with you, we're kind of caught. Well, he was <laughs> yelling at you. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I don't want to. I don't want to point out the obvious here. But yeah. <laughs> yelling at me? How? How the? No, no, no. Scrump was yelling at you. I, I, I may have been yelling. There may have been some yelling involved. Okay. Well, we don't have an option, do we? They're faster than you. You can't outrun them. We literally have to. No, they might not want to chase you the whole way. I'm. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep running, keep running towards Arch. I, I don't want to take him on single-handedly, so if we are gonna take him on, that is. Okay, look, hang on. Uh, roll some initiative. Okay. Three. Jesus, Arch. What did you get? Uh, that's plus reflexes, yes. Uh, yes, it is, yeah. And I don't suppose you have combat sense, do you? No. So that's 20. I got... Uh, I rolled a 3, didn't I? Yeah, I, that's an 11 for me. Right, okay. Sorry, um, give me a second. I need to quickly draw another dick-shaped map. Why didn't you guys just busted the door? I mean, there was already a shotgun discharge in the building. You could have just, like... Well, Grab we don't rock. really want to tempt fate. <laughs> Which is a fair point. Honestly, noticing Sargon's world just walking on an alleyway is tempting fate. That, that's why I just wanted to stay you in the park. in an alleyway for an entire day and got pissed on by homeless people. Yeah, that's why I did that. Because <laughs> I know that if you just walk across the street to buy a loaf of bread in this world, you will get into trouble. Are you, are, are you saying this world needs more social justice? It's not safe. <laughs> no, that would make it more unsafe. I think this world has too much social justice in it. <laughs> Good point. Oh, God damn it. What, what should we outlive us both now? <laughs> the only way I would get out of a house in this world is if I'm wearing, like, a camo suit. <laughs> Probably with invisibility as well. Well, that wouldn't work in the city. You'd have to, like, paint yourself like a building. You'd stand out in, like, a ghillie suit. Or oh, but but let's, let's rewind a bit, right? The first time we exited the house, we met the red car. Um, and then uh, it was the case when you guys went to the library, the police started bullying you. Hey, we were fine, okay? We, we, nearly, we nearly got some, uh, some of that sweet, sweet SGW tail. It was fine. I mean, I didn't... I didn't I, the guys in the red car didn't shoot me. <laughs> they, I may have roundhouse kicked one of their heads off, though. That was pretty, that was pretty cool. I'm also starting to think that uh, we're not part of the snake gang because we don't have tattoos. Why do you think you don't have tattoos? Well, that's an interesting have, question. Have Everyone ever, else from the Snake Gang has tattoos. Have we ever? Have we checked? Have we? Have you actually checked yourself for tattoos? I'm pretty sure it would have been mentioned. Well, if you don't ask, it doesn't get mentioned. <laughs> Sargon, do we have tattoos? Do you have a mirror? Are you even oh, conscious? Oh come on! We looked at each other. The I'm, I'm, I'm running down the street. I'm not gonna start pulling my shirt up looking for <laughs> tattoos. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you can worry about that later. If we did have tattoos, I don't think they would have uh, mistaken our boss. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe they're just incredibly incompetent, like most bureaucracies are. That's my assumption, anyway. Uh, by the way, Sargon, I can use my combat sense for awareness checks. Or does what does it say in the manual exactly? Mm -hmm. Uh, and you should have also warned me that the guy was about to shoot through the door. Why should I have warned you about that? Because of the awareness. Um, this ability allows the solo to perceive danger, notice traps, and have an almost unearthly ability to avoid harm. This gives the solo a bonus on awareness skill and initiation equal to the level of combat sense per skill, page 49. Right, okay. Good to know. I, I can also do ambushes, which Good. gives me a huge modifier. Oh, and... Um, Sneak attacks. You should do some more of those. 
<laughs> yeah. Damn it. Yeah, but basically, should... like, when, when the guy was shooting through the door, you should have made me roll a dice to see if I can... He, he did make you roll some initiative, which is added to your combat sense. I think you just rolled uh, No, one. no, no, that was just to um, to see the level, like, who moves first. But, um, like, if there's a trap or anything like that, I should roll combat sense to see if I can avoid the trap. That is true. There's been a trap so far, though. <laughs> right. It was less a trap, more of you unconscious after headbutting a wall. I mean, you did go pretty fucking no, cycle. Yeah, but the stun word off by the time I... Okay. <laughs> so what, what was your initiatives again? Um, mine was 11. 20. Uh, that's Archie's die rolls for you. This is mine. Fucking hell. Okay. Why don't you uh, ride into the store? I mean, they wouldn't have gone after you in the store. I imagine since this is snake territory, they the stores paid them protection money. Yeah, but at least they wouldn't open fire on you in a store. Well, that's the maybe. Uh, there's a maybe. That's a big maybe. Right. An even bigger maybe, maybe uh, is we could. Uh, here, go ahead. Right there. Sorry, Scrum. Do you want to share your screen? Uh, sure, yeah, I can do that. Give me a... That should be working now. That's our last position from the... Uh, that's the hallway from yep, last time. it is. Okay, I was just making sure that uh, it was being checked correctly. Yep. It's all up in right. there. Good. Right, so... Ah, here we are. Right. Right, so this is the street. You might want to scroll down a little bit. Um, so, Arch, you are here. I'm going to make it smaller. Where Whenever I can control my thing. There you are. Okay. I did the wrong button. Right. Where's Arch? Arch is there. Oh, there he is. There you are, Arch. Uh, yeah, you're standing in the doorway. I'm somewhere down the street doing my best using bold impression. You are. Um, I'll do. There I am. And we've got three Jonathan. Oh no, Jonathan McIntosh is the Goon Squad. Um, look, the three okay. Stephen Tatillos chasing you. Ah, fuck no. <laughs> Are they, are they screaming, uh, Nathan Grayson did nothing wrong at me? <laughs> Is that their war cry? <laughs> yeah, let's just go for a yes. Uh, <laughs> let's, just, let's just assume that that's what, exactly what they're saying. There was no review. <laughs> right, uh, yeah, the, this middle bit with the boxes is the, the street and the cars. There are cars moving back and forth, but I'm not drawing them because they're moving. Um, at the top right, there is... Uh, Pod bay, so a pod station, so you can use pay for a pod if you want. Um, there are also like standing adverts in the street and like data terminals and stuff, um, and you know lamps and stuff like that, street lamps. Um, right, so it's their go, but they've used their go to move to where they are. So now it is um, your turn, Arch. Okay. Well, I don't think I do a damn thing because the scrump is in the way, so there's no way I can engage them even if I want to do. And I think we still should try and make this peaceful, so... You can actually see two on the right-hand side of scrump. You could actually take aim or something, but, or you could, you know, delay your turn until the end. In which case... Is this in there? Yeah, I'll uh, brace myself against the uh, the doorway and take aim at uh, this guy, I guess. Okie doke. Uh, right. Scrump, it's your go. What are you doing? Um, I, I'm just going to keep running. All right, getting out of my field of fire would probably be a good idea. Worse come to worse. Um, okay. So how, how far can you move? One, two, three. You can spend like 20 points getting to Arch if you want. Um, could I get. I don't know. Could I. Hmm. If 
that the pod station there? Is that it? Uh, you have to show me where you're talking. Uh, you can probably see my mouse. Yeah. No, 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 no. Use the the um. Uh, the ruler. Yeah, the ruler. Yeah. Use the thing. Just hold down the button. Uh, is that the pod station? That's a car, but you can run behind it if you want. Yeah, I'll run behind this car. Okay. And uh, take some take some cover there. Yeah. Are you going to turn to face them or? Yeah, I'm going to turn to face them. Right. Okay. Um, right. It's their go, and they move like you know a little bit, but they put their guns up and tell you to drop your weapons. No. No. Nope. <laughs> civilians around are screeching and running away at this point. <laughs> I'm not going to depict them. They're, they're, you know, they're like 20 or 30 people in the street, you know. They're going in and out of shops and whatnot. Um, so what are you saying to these guys? Just no. Um, we, we don't want any trouble. <laughs> We've got no interest in violence here, but if you push us, we will fucking open fire. Okay. Uh, they, they say, who the fuck are you? Nobody you want to fuck with right this particular moment. We've had enough bullshit this day. Do you want to try and intimidate him? I think I do. <laughs> Go ahead. Right, let's roll a 12. <laughs> oh, I remember 12. that. I remember rolling 12. 12 and right. a d10. Intimidate. I did roll a d10, didn't I? Uh, yes. yes. Okay. Intimidate is bound to... Cool. It is. What is your cool? So ten. Ah, um, the guy, the, the the guy who seems to be doing all the talking, he pauses for a moment, but you don't seem to have changed his mind. Okay. Can I try and persuade them? Can I do a persuasion check? Um. Oops, shit. Can, yeah. Go ahead. It's your go. Okay. I'll try and persuade them. I'm, I'm going to shout at them that they don't want to start a firefight in broad daylight because they don't want the... Uh, uh, I'll just say they don't want the goon squad to show up. I'll, I'll, uh, <laughs> I think they'll probably know what that means. Yeah, no. Uh, what did you get in total? Uh, 20. Oh, no, wait. That's uh, 21, actually. Right. Um, okay, hang on. Uh, they, they, you don't persuade them, and they say, "No, you don't want the goon squad to turn up. Tell us who you are." Um, let's see. Well, at this point, uh, V's chopped the head off a child. I've tried to saw his head off. Um, <laughs> Scrump, unfortunately, doesn't have any vital deeds to his name, so that's unfortunate. We're going to have to find him some no, baby... No, 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 no. I, uh, the kid with the gun and I shot the fucking... I shot the kid's hand off, remember? Okay, yeah, you've amputated a man's arm. I will use that, because at this point we do have some fairly dodgy reputations, so there's a 50-50. One, they might think that they'll get some pats on the back from their boss from killing us, or two, they might not want to kill us because they're afraid of us. So, at this point, I... Well, they want to kill us already, so I don't see any reason to not give them our names right now. Because what are they going to do? They're off, they're just as off the grid as us. They're not going to call for more people. I don't know. They could do. No, they'd have to go for more people, wouldn't they? I guess. Which you should could at say least you're undercover so police officers. You know. Me. You're unconscious. <laughs> um, can right, so that stupid decisions. <laughs> that's that's yeah, that's how they fit. Um, uh, what's the, what, okay, no, so no, you're, you're telling them who you are. Yeah, that's what you're doing. I vote yes. At this point, how much worse could it get? Ah, <laughs> uh, you, you you can do what you want. <laughs> okay. Um, the the lead guy doesn't seem to recognize you, but one of the the guy directly to his left goes, "Fuck! I knew I knew who they were. Snake will give us a fortune for their heads." Well. That's well, pretty much the what we situation we were already in. So. <laughs> yeah. um, right, okay, that's uh, the the lead guy just screams at you, drop your fucking guns and you come with us. Okay, that's time we start shooting, I guess, because they're not I, coming I imagine it's time we start shooting. Um, is okay, it my turn? Well, no, it's, uh, it's Archer's turn next. 
Yeah, at this point, I don't really see any way out of this except trying to run, but they're faster than us, so that seems like a terrible idea. I guess we could try and carry out a fighting retreat. Now, that would give us big penalties. What do you mean? Uh, well, we have actually, uh, for example, running up here, which would be... How long does it take for pods to arrive? <laughs> oh, hardly any time. Probably like a... Uh, probably on there, like three rounds or something. Um, shit, where is the pod station here, then? It's at the very top of the map on the right-hand side of the road, on the path. Oh, so here? There? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I see it. Well, assuming <laughs> that this is, uh, this is a normal area, so we've got about ten minutes from the first time we open fire before bad people show up, I reckon we hold our ground, kill these jokers, and and just fucking leave. <laughs> Probably the best option. What's the the range like? They're about twenty six meters. Twenty five meters to twenty six. Yeah. I'm not about... great engagement range, but not fantastic. You've got pistols, haven't you? Yeah. 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 No, it's not not a fantastic uh, engagement range. It's it's long, uh, hard. Sorry, medium range. So you're on. You need twenty to hit them. Hmm. I really don't want to get in a firefight here, but I'm starting to run out of options. They, uh... Actually, uh, Scrum, have you done the awareness check to see what weapons they have? Uh, no, I've been too busy running. <laughs> so we haven't any idea how badly we're outgunned. You you could do that in your turn if you want. Um, that would be... I don't know. I, 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 would, would that be my second action of the turn, though? Oh. Uh, it'd be the only action you'd be able to take that turn, I think. Uh, crap. No, they'll be gaining on us all that time. Um, 20s to hit them is just really terrible. Uh, I imagine that they look like street-level thugs, so they won't be that well-armed. Well, probably, but they are at war at the moment. That is a point. <laughs> like, assuming pistols sounds like a ass assumption. It does, but we have beaten people with pistols before, but... I don't know. It depends how bad their pistols are. They do have relatively limited cover. Let's see. That would be concealment, best I'd assume. Uh, the the cover is basically whatever you whatever can cover your body. For example, Arch, if if you're in like the in the alcove you're in, it covers most of your body. Like your the I suppose it'd be your left hand that you'd have to fire with, and your head would be the only your your left arm and your head would be uncovered. So yeah, yeah. Them, I understand they might, that. Yeah, but, they might uh, hit, they might, they'll probably hit the wall because that, the roll on the table will probably be something protected by the wall. Um, if there's a guy in there, it looks like Scrump would have a reasonably good shot at him. Yeah, that's why Looking I took cover where he's standing. Sort of, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that's yeah. why I took cover where I did. We're in a, a decent-ish kind of combat position. Yeah, I think we start shooting and we see Is what you? they do. If they want to piss off, we'll let them. Are they still coming towards us? Well, it, it's turn-based at the moment, so they're... Not, they're pointing their guns at you and yelling, drop your weapons. So it's what Arch decides to do at this point. Uh, you could try rolling an awareness for uh, for what weapons they've got, I guess, but that would probably be a better way I did it. Yeah, no, that's my you're currently time, aiming, so. though, aren't you? And I haven't drawn my weapon yet, have I? You haven't, no. The next time I really need to draw my weapon. <laughs> yeah. Now, I think I shoot at them right now, and we'll okay. see what they do. If we get lucky, they start retreating, and we might be able to get the fuck out of here. Right. Uh, roll to hit. I, I, li I like that I went down an alleyway to try and check for the dead entrances and kind of ran back with, with a lot of goons on me. <laughs> it seems like something I do. Okay, that's just plus the handgun. Uh, so what did you get? Uh, six. And then plus your handgun skill and your reflex. Okay, so that does add reflex, okay. Yeah. Uh, Fifteen, so no go. Nope, you miss. Uh, Scrump, what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to draw my weapon. Okay. You doing anything um... else? I guess I could try an awareness check, but I got a penalty for that, wouldn't I? No, no, the, an awareness check. I, I don't. I mean, I don't know what the. I think that it would take the entire turn, man. All right, I'm, I need to draw. I'm gonna draw my weapon. 
Yeah. And okay. can you draw and take aim at the same time, or just draw? Um, I don't think you can. I think you need the whole turn to aim as well. So yeah. yeah. Okay. You draw your weapon. Um, right. Their turn. Right. Um, one of them starts running. On, uh, how do you do the ruler? Uh, to the left, the uh, ruler. Yeah, the ruler icon. Oh, yeah, there. Right, yeah, so one of them just, uh, I don't know, is there a shortcut key to it? Starts uh, legging it off this way. Um, this guy, he's like looking around the corner. Um, and is he running back down the alleyway? No, 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 he's just like ducked back behind the corner. All right. Well, I've got a, a pretty decent hand cannon right now, so the closer they get to me, the worse it is for them. And this dude runs around the car behind you. Damn it, he teleported behind me. Well, he ran, but yeah. Um, <laughs> Not so, the first one, kid. Arch, it's your go. Okay. Well, I'll, uh, I'll be shooting at him then. <laughs> Am I still aimed, by the way, or does that cancel when you fire? So uh, it only counts it, for the first shot. Yeah, yeah, it cancels when you fire. Um, how many yeah. meters was it? How is what? How many meters was it? Ten. Ten meters. Uh, right. So, yeah, you're at close range, so you're on 15 to hit. 15 money, to hit. Money, big money, big money. And the aim was, that's the first action, which means the second action is a minus three, right? Yes, or you could just fire twice because you've got. Yeah, I think it's better to fire twice in this case then. Yeah. Because there's no way I hit scrum from this, no, right? No, Unless no, no. I'll well, make roll like a like a one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you pro you probably won't hit scrum. Probably won't hit scrum. That's reassuring. Right, for shooting first. That's four plus. Yeah, that's not a fifteen, so it's a miss. I need a six at least. Right, okay, next there one. There we go. That hits. What did you get in total? Uh, 10, 17. Right, hang on. Uh, yeah, that does hit. Roll d10. Oh, what is your weapon's damage, yeah, by the way? The leg. Yeah, I hit him in the torso, actually. Ooh. Right, okay. Uh, yeah, what damage does your weapon do? Uh, 1d6 plus 1. Roll a d6. It does 6 damage. Well, 7. Oh, that, you're right. You're yeah, right. That's, that's with the plus 1. Okay. Um, right, he's wearing a heavy leather jacket. And you hit him square in the chest, but it doesn't seem to stop him. Um, right, Scrumpers, you'll go. Um, I'm going to shoot him because I've already got my gun out, so... <laughs> I just, I'll just shoot. Isn't that a very close range for me? Um, that is... No, you're just at close range. Okay. Uh, my handgun skill... Where's that? Can you um, fire three bullets, or does that gun not allow burst? You can fire one at the time, I think. So Eight, four, three, five. I roll a uh, sixteen in total. Uh, yeah, that's a hit. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, I've got like decent handgun skills, so. Yeah. What's your hang? What's the damage? Um, the damage on my gun. Um, three d six. Fucking hell! All right. It's a, yeah, it's a but it's an eleven millimeter. That's why. I have I have a hand cannon, mate. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. Go go ahead. Um, all that damage. Uh, didn't I nick it off? Who did I nick this off? I don't I know. But roll some damage, damn it. Um, no, don't I roll where I hit him yeah, first? You roll to hit him first, yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah. Roll, roll location. Eight. Uh, That's right leg, of course. Right leg. I'm always shooting people in the legs. I'm a leg shooter. Right, okay, okay. roll damage. So, um, so that's three, D, six. Ten. Right, okay, hang on. Uh, 
Uh, right, okay, he needs to check. Uh, no, he's okay. It's, again, looks you know he's he's taking some damage, but he's not he's not stopping. Um, right, and it's his go. Scrump, he levels his gun at you and takes a shot. Ah, uh, shit. We still don't have armor, do we? We should really put armor. <laughs> Uh, right, okay. You can take his jacket if you kill him. I imagine I'll be a little bit degraded after I've shot it a few times. Fucking hell, it whizzes past your head. <laughs> he takes a second shot, which also whizzes past you. <laughs> oh, man, you are a lucky motherfucker. <laughs> oh, my, my bulletproof streak continues. Um. Right, the, uh, the other guy runs off out of sight, who was running off. Um, really, I I didn't I can't believe I didn't cripple this. I just shot him with a like a forty five caliber in the leg. Well, he's wearing heavy leather armor and he's he's fairly tough. So oh, right. Right. Uh, that guy just moves up to there, and it's your go, Arch. Okay, uh, how does the movement system here? What's the half move? What's the full move? Um. Well. Honestly, Cyberpunk, the manual's quite vague about it, so I'm just going to do the D&D rules of uh, you can like move up to half your move and then take the second action at minus three penalty or move your entire move and take no other actions. So that would be ten. So I can move up. That would be point-blank range, I'm assuming. Yeah. That would okay. Be In which case, I do just that, because we need to finish this fucker. Okay. Um... And I can't aim. Well, <laughs> you, you, you actually could take an aim shot. It's minus four to your um, chance to hit. So you'd be on 14 uh, to hit this guy. If you want to say yeah. air door. But close range is more, isn't it? Or point blank? No, no. Point blank means the difficulty to hit is 10. Um, but you can take a, you can add four to that number and make a targeted shot. I say take the risk. Okay. Adding well, you four. You have to roll a five. So yeah, well, you want me to take an aim shot, is that it? Aim at his head. Shoot him with the head, Arch. Yeah, but in what order? Because now I've uh, do what I moved up now, which I because I thought that was a bigger bonus than aim, because it's yeah. Rich, to, to be fair, you'd be on minus seven. If you oh right, to, yeah, you'll be. Takes, it's your second action, so maybe you're only on thirteen if you take a shot as your second action. Yeah, just just shoot him. Just take a shot, and then we can figure out where he hits then. Yeah. You do have that minus two penalty too, I forgot about that. <laughs> oh yeah, I think I'm hitting him. Yep, that's a hit. Roll no, wait, no, no, that's nine. Yeah, it's, it's, it's... I forgot to remove the one. Yeah, but you still hit him, so... Yeah. Roll location. Five, that's right, right arm. arm. Right, okay, uh, roll d6 plus one, isn't it? Yep. Okay, no. Four damage. Okay. Oh, he's okay. Uh, you taking a second? Oh, no, you can't take a second shot. No, I'm taking two. Uh, right, okay. Um, right, uh, a scrump is your go. Ha. Huh. We dead yet? Well, it's your go. What are you doing? Oh, sorry. I, I had to breathe. Um, I'm going to shoot him again. <laughs> Okie doke. You, are, you guys are keeping track of your ammo use, yeah? Yes, yes. Yeah. Right, okay. Arch? Uh, right, okay. Um, you're at uh, short range, so... Oh, I can shoot him. Sorry, my rate of fire is two, isn't it? I can shoot him twice. You uh, can shoot him twice? Uh, five is two. So you're on 15th hit. Yeah. I'll shoot, yeah, I'll shoot him twice. Fuck it. <laughs> this yep. guy needs to go down. Yeah, yeah, roll. That, that's a hit, though. Yeah. Just, well, what did you get? Uh, um, where's my character sheet gone? <laughs> Keep getting my stats. That's 11 Whoa. plus 3 plus eight. Um, 19. Uh, yeah, that's definitely here. Location? Rolling. 
don't get those ones when you're rolling the location, do you? <laughs> no, I don't. I, <laughs> I, never, nice... I, I never get those ones. That's a yeah, nine. It'd, it'd be a lovely headshot, but uh, is that left leg? That's yeah, the left, left leg. Yeah. That is a left leg, yeah. I'm, you, I'm a leg shooter. You really are. Roll damage. Uh, wrong. Five. <laughs> uh, what, in total? Yeah, that I I rolled three I rolled two two one on my three d six. Yeah, yeah, you wing him. <sighs> okay now. <laughs> okay, are you taking it a second shot? Uh, yep. Oh, ten. Ten. Yep. That's a hit. Yeah. Roll what does that go to? Is that a is that a headshot? What? Sorry, what? Uh, ten. What does ten count as? No, that's your roll to hit. Oh, right. Yeah, I know, but what does it count as if I roll a 10? Oh, that's my roll to hit. If Sorry, Dirk. Like, just I'm, I'm, roll my a terrain isn't working. Ignore yeah. me. Yeah, roll a d10. 18 overall. Right leg. Uh, uh, yeah, that's six. the right leg. 12. Jesus, that's more like it. <laughs> um, hang on a second. Five, three out of this magazine, so... Right, okay. Um, it's, there you go. Right, this guy is stunned, and he kind of falls to his knees. Um, the other guy runs up behind you and takes a shot. Runs up behind me? Yep. Ah, boopsicles. Get this out of the way. Uh, yeah, he hits you. Uh. For 10 points of damage in the left leg. What's your body type modifier? Um, body type modifier... Minus 2. Right, okay, so it's 8 points of damage. So... Um... Um, yeah, I'm just being serious. Yeah. Okay, make a stun check. So you need to get four or lower. Hmm. On the D10. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Those ones, right. Um, you're also crippled in your left leg. Oh, God damn it. Now I've got a limp. Yeah, well, yeah, you move at half speed. Um, right, okay. That's fine. The guy in front of you is stunned. The other guy's run off. Arch, it's your go. Okay, uh, so the guy in front of me is down on a knee now. Yes, he is. Uh, is there any chance I could just simply pull up my knife and stab him through the neck, seeing as he's helpless? Uh, well, he's not helpless. You but, better just... Um, I think you're probably better shooting him. <laughs> yeah, you, you, it would it would be uh, an action to do it, so you'd have a minus three chance. <laughs> you could try and aim shot, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, aim shot. So, well, at this point, it's, I think shooting twice is better than one aim shot at this point. Because he's clearly got a ridiculous amount of hit you points. Can, you fight. can do two aim shots if you want. The, Does that give minus four, though? Yeah, it gives you minus four, but um, you can do two of them. Okay. And uh, what's the bonus now, for the though, aim? So. Sorry, say that again. Isn't what? he at point blank now, though? Yeah, he's at point blank, so he needs ten to hit. Plus four if he's aiming. So 14 to hit on an aim shot. That's in total, though, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. It sounds like it's vastly, uh, vastly worse to aim, so I think I just fire twice. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Five, six, seven, that's. 12? Yes. Oh, no, you've got a reflex of seven, actually. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, actually 14. But, yeah, that's a hit. Roll location. Well, on that one. There that's we go. Right. Beautiful. <laughs> okay. Beautiful. Uh, roll damage. Okay, 1d6 plus one. Yeah. Three. Right, okay. Um, right, so that's actually... Two, four, right. Jesus, this guy's taking a hell of a pounding. 
Uh, yeah, it seems to have uh, seems to not be in very good condition anymore. <laughs> no, he's fucked. Yeah, that's right, Chad. Guns don't kill people. Arch does. Uh, yeah, he collapses to the floor. Goody, one less. No, wait, these are the guys in there. God damn it. Yeah, uh, scrum for your go. Um, uh, that's one action. Uh, no, that's fire. Fi well, um, yeah, well, that's the. You can fire twice. I can shoot into the ground. You could shoot into the ground, I suppose. The other, the other guy is. Uh, I'm in the way of the other guy, aren't I? Yeah, scrum's blocking the view of the other guy. Yeah, I'd rather take a half move, but okay, fine. Um, hmm. I'll take an aim shot at this guy's head. Okay. Go ahead. Oh. Six is eleven. I got eighteen. That's a hit. Damage. Uh, I'm obviously aiming at his head. So. Yeah, you don't need to roll negation. Roll damage. What the four? <laughs> Two one one on three d six. Jesus Christ. Um, that's it's. You just wing him on the side of the head. Um, but I mean, don't get me wrong. That that must have hurt. Uh, let me just. Uh... Does that stun him at least? No, it doesn't stun him. Oh no! Wait, yes, it does stun him. Sorry, no, 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 it does. Yep. Yes. Uh, are you taking a second shot? Yes, I am. <laughs> Go ahead. Are you aiming? Yes, I am. <laughs> okay. Straight at his head. That's <laughs> not a hit because that's higher. But what did you? Okay. Um, eighteen. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Okay, yeah, that's a hit. <laughs> Come on, snake eyes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. D6s. Eight. That's more that's a bit more like it. That is a bit more like it. Um yeah, it's twelve to his fucking head. I just shot him in the head with like a like a forty five magnum or some shit. That doesn't yeah. exist. Like a forty five ATP. Okay, I've got like a nineteen eleven. I just shot someone in the head with like a nineteen eleven, so I, I... <laughs> um, Yeah, he no no he's still on his feet. He has a hole inside his head now. Um, Are you fighting the Terminator there? <laughs> <laughs> Practically. Um, right, okay, and it's his go. Right, he decides to run away. Uh, how far can he be? Yeah, he flees. Off down the alley. There he goes. Um, right, it's your go, Arch. Okay, how long is it going to take us to strip this guy in front of me? To strip him? I'll take his leather armor, essentially. Um, I don't know, probably a minute to take off his jacket and trousers. And we've been in combat for about five turns, which is, what, yeah. three yeah. minutes? Uh, no, it's uh, three seconds. Is, is it three or six seconds around? I think it's three seconds in a round. So, okay. Yeah, like a minute. Okay, so in that case, Scrump, my boy, I say we strip this guy and we should probably start leaving. Um, uh, you've got first you... aid, right, though? Stabilize? Are you... Well, I, I'm stable, yeah, but I think... You no, know, I don't think I can use that on you unless you're critical. No, no, no. Yeah, right. Any kind of um, operation is going to take some time as well. All right, well, we'll do that when we get back then. Yeah, you... Uh, are we out of combat now? If you want to be. If you don't want to chase this guy, the combat can end. I can't yes. take this guy. I'm I'm limping. Right. Okay. Um. Right. You both gain five IPs on your handgun skills. Well, I assume you're using your handgun skills. Uh, full move. Yeah. I don't. I don't bother following him. Right. Okay. It, it looks like Operation Rescue B is kind of ended before it started. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe I can talk my way out of it. I mean, I'm going to come out of unconsciousness. V V's anyway. good at talking his way out of things. So. Yeah. He's. He's. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I normally. Right, I think so it's you, your leg is crippled, so waiting around here is going to be pointless. Yeah. Yeah, we've taken. I've taken quite a lot of combat damage now. Yeah. Um, okay. I can. I, I can help you. Like, can I roll? It, uh, do we just loot this guy, or do we have to do like awareness checks what he's got? I mean. Well, you you can take what is obvious, or you could do, or you could search him and. I'll, like, uh, while while Ark is stripping strong. off his leather stuff and picking up his gun and, and whatever he's got, I'll, I'll do an awareness check to see if there's anything we can uh, we can salvage off him. Okay, you do that. So, 
15. Okay. Um, you don't see anything out of the... that, that isn't immediately obvious. Um, he's got a handgun that he's dropped on the floor. In his pockets, there's another clip. Um, there's 50 credits. There's just, you know, there's junk. It's like a couple of drug chips, some tobacco, you know, just stuff like that. Sweet, 50 credits, at least. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 50 credits. And he's wearing heavy leather jacket and trousers. Uh, so you can take those if you want. Okay. So... I'll note it down. You take the credits. Yeah. So, I don't know, it takes you like three minutes to do that. I'll take the credits. Uh, drugs... Uh, what's the value of the drugs about? Oh, probably about probably about 100 credits. Uh, tobacco. How much is the tobacco worth then? 10. Oh, uh, yeah. Probably, well, 20 credits. Okay. Um, and what, what, uh, what was the gun that he had? Uh, right, the gun is... It's a Dai Lung Street Master. Uh, we'll worry about the stats when you're not in the road. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, and Ash, you... Is that, is that what Cyberware is? Like, augments, though, isn't it? Sorry, say again. Cyberware, Cyberware is... Cyberware augments. Sorry, just looking at the character sheet. Yeah, it's augmentations and stuff. Right. So the fourth minute clock's over. Um, there are there are now no pedestrians in the street. Yeah, it's time to leave. It's 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 time time to go. Right. Okay. Um, You've knocked down the head of leather armor and pants, though, haven't you? Yes. Sorry, V. We uh, we tried. And by tried, I mean I stumbled through an alleyway um, and 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 had like a like a Benny Hill moment with some uh, with some gangbangers. Right. Do I regain my consciousness now? No, you don't. Um, right. Uh, Arch and Scrump, make awareness checks. Fifteen again, then. What'd you get, Arch? Six plus awareness, that's reflex. <clears throat> no. What did you get? Six. Plus, you're, you need to... Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, it's intelligence. intelligence. Yeah, it's intelligence. Fifteen. Uh, right, okay. Uh, right, so what are you doing? Where are you going? Uh, heading towards the pod station, I'm assuming. Yeah, but heading towards the pod station. How quickly are you going? Uh, as fast as we can, so... <laughs> Arch if... is going yeah, if I help uh, Scrump along, how quickly can we go? Because he's moving at half speed. Um, yeah. You can move at the half speed, but you'll probably at least make sure he gets there. Um, I won't make him have to make endurance, uh, some sort of endurance check. To We're moving at 12. Yeah. Okay, let me just... Let me get that off. There we go. So I give him the dice roller up. I imagine the chat's being annoyed by that. I actually, you're there. Um, but okay. Right. Um, I think so... Right, make another awareness check. Um, this might work. Yeah. Thirteen, that's total. That's uh sixteen. Uh, Scrump, you can hear a car coming towards you at high speed. Oh, uh, shit. Um, yeah, let's get out of the road. <laughs> right. Um, make reflex checks. Make dodge checks specifically. Oh, shit. Do I have dodge? I think I actually might have dodge. I do have dodge. There we go. All right, let me, let me roll that. So that's a D10, right? Critical fail. Oh dear. Uh, what did you get, Scrum? Uh, what is dodge again? That's in... Reflex. Reflexes. So. Um, I got 15. Uh, you're also at minus 2 for being wounded. 
So you got 13. So I got 13 then, yeah. Right. Uh, right. So you get run over by a car. Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, hang on. Hang on. Right. Scrump, you get hit in the torso by it, but you manage to sort of only get... Oh, Christ, you only take one point of damage. Ah, that puts me in critical, though, doesn't it? Probably. You tell me, are you in critical? Yes, I'm one into critical, critical one. Okay, make a stun check. So you need to get three or less. The dice roller. God damn it, I'm stunned. Yep, uh, Arch. Yeah. You get hit in the head for f- four points of damage. So that then, sorry, no. What's what's your body type modifier? It's probably minus two, right? Minus two, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's only actually for two points of damage. <laughs> I don't know how the fuck they managed to get you in the head. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they only managed to wing your head. Yeah, they here's a really odd angle. <laughs> Apparently, they must have done. Um, but yeah, but basically, you then both fall to the side. And the car keeps driving. Oh, I haven't drawn it, but um, right. The car's like there. Um, I think now might be good for time for initiative. Okay. What do you mm-hmm. get? That's eleven. Nine total. Okay, Scrump, you're first. Got stunned. Ah, oh, it's your go. Okay. <sighs> what kind of car is it? Oh, Jesus Christ. Just... I, d- I, I don't know. It's quite a big one. It's uh, dark blue painted. It's got um, people hanging out the windows laughing at you. Um, it's just a big blue one. I don't know anything about cars, so I couldn't tell you a make. Okay. Oh, I need to go over and pick up Scrump then. Yep, yeah, okay. We should probably get up out of the road. <laughs> yeah, I can leave you. I mean, that's fine by me. I go 21 meters in the opposite direction. <laughs> are, you, are you going over to help Scrump up, yeah? Yeah. Right, okay. Scrump wants me to leave him. If he wants to, I'll... No, 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 no. I'm just saying I'm saying that we, yeah. We. I, I didn't say you, I said we. <laughs> yes. Right, okay. there's, there's no I in team apart from when V's involved. Then, then we just run. <laughs> no. Um... um how do I move this? I, I, feel, I feel like we shouldn't have left V now. I, I feel like this is our comeuppance. I feel like karma has come back for us. Right, okay. Um, the car drives on um, and stops about here. Well, it's not stopping, but it's turning around. Um, right. Uh, Scrump, what are you doing? Um, I'm going to move towards the other car. Well, well show me with the ruler. Um, I'm going to move this way. Okay. So back onto the sidewalk. Okay. What? There? To there. Yep. Okay. Arch, what are you doing? Okay. So we're moving back to the scene of the crime. Interesting idea. Oh, well, I moved down there too. Might as well. Okay. Um, the people in the car uh, don't get out of the car or anything, but they do start opening fire. How far away they are. Christ, they're quite far away. Right, let me just check something. Sorry about this. <laughs> I don't think we're. Uh, I don't think we're having a particularly good day today, Arch. <laughs> no. I don't think I don't think the cyberpunk gods are being kind to us. Mm. Yes. Oh, but I I keep seeing occasionally asked in the chat for those wondering you didn't see the beginning slate. This is Cyberpunk 2020 we're playing. It's, yeah. Uh, the, the grim dark future where I always roll ones. It, it, it is exactly that. <laughs> The 
Right, okay. This is I, I like the way they do their full auto firing in this. Makes a lot of sense. How do they do it? I, explain to us while we're getting fucked by it. Yeah, yeah. The the way the way they do it um, is uh, you get a, if you're at close range for every ten rounds fired, you get one to your attack total. At medium and long and extreme ranges, for every ten rounds fired, you lose one from your attack total. And you can fire up to your rate of fire on an automatic weapon. And for every point of success over the required to hit roll, one round hits the target, up to the maximum rate of fire of the weapon. So if the to hit roll was, say, 10, and I rolled 20, that's 10 rounds that hit you. Um, as it is now, the, the car and the street behind you just get absolutely peppered with bullets. However, you guys are okay. Um, it's your go scrum. I don't imagine firing back at a car full of people is a good idea. Um, it's entirely pointless. We need to be leaving. How do we? We can't get to the pod bay though, can we? No, we'll have to go the other way. Right. Um, yes. Yes, we will. I'm going to retreat down the street this way, trying to keep the. I can go 12 meters, can't I? Yep. Yeah. So I'm going to move to there. Okay. Arch, what are you doing? Well, I'm going down there. Okay. Uh, right, the car spins its wheels and then drives off up the street. Oh, so they were just fucking with us then? I don't know. I don't know if full auto is fucking with you. I, 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 don't, know how, I don't know how this world works. Maybe full auto is just fucking with us. You tell me. But, um, right, what are you doing, Scrub? Um, cowering, mostly? Um, no, we we need to get the hell out of here. Um, is that still the nearest... Um, it, nearest... Is still, it is still the nearest pod. Uh, how much time has elapsed? Um, well, less than a minute. Since the whole fight? Uh, oh, since the whole fight. Um, I think we're coming to our sixth minute now. Um... Scrum, you might want to roll an awareness check, since uh, since you're the one with the awareness skill. Sure. Um, uh, where's my character again? Awareness four, isn't it? Yep. Nine. Seventeen. In the distance, you can hear sirens. Crap. Um. Is there a thing like self-defense? Because you did get attacked. <laughs> I don't think they care. No. I, I, I think I think you're you're o overestimating how much they care. So if I open fire on someone in the street in this world, they will get arrested as well. <laughs> yep, that seems to be how it works. Right. What are you doing? Um, do I know which direction the sirens are coming from? Uh, yeah, the south. South. So yeah. we need to get back towards that pod station then. Mm -hmm. um, damn it, I wish my leg wasn't crippled. <laughs> uh, so I can move 12 meters, so I'm going to move to there. Like, yeah. That's the best thing I can do, I think. Arch. Okay, uh, you haven't been doing it yet, but are you going to do endurance tests on him? Because um, I, you right, I haven't done it yet, hang on. So well, hasn't, haven't you been helping me walk, Arch, basically? Yeah, yeah I haven't I'm... been for a while now. <laughs> well, you, you could help him walk if you want. That sounds like a decent idea. Right. Um, right, okay, so how far are you... How many meters are you from the pod? Um, um, two turns round about. Right, okay. Uh, the, the blue car is driven off, so you can just spend two turns running over. Yeah, we'll just spend two turns getting to the pod. Yeah. Pod bay. Okay, uh, there's no queue for anything, so you can just uh, pay to get in and go. Let's, let's go back to the apartment and recruit. <laughs> yep, probably the best idea. Sorry, V, we barely made it out of this one. Well, okay. maybe I can hopefully talk my way out of it. We can just okay. roll some amazing crits. Just... So, uh, yeah, yeah, you, you, you've got to spend 20 credits getting back. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll note that down. <laughs> Sorry, like, sorry if this isn't fun for the chat. This isn't fun for us either. We're getting battered here. It, it's still fun. It's just, it's I, a yeah, bit. I, I think you handled it surprisingly well, actually. 
we, we got our shit pushed in, but we're still alive. Yeah, well, I mean, you, I think you're doing all right. I mean, Arch, you haven't been here, have you? Uh, oh, except for being by the car. Yeah, very, very lightly. So you're okay. Yes. Um, yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Twenty credits. You can get back to the neighborhood, ne- uh, the pod nearest your neighborhood, and go back to your apartment. It's now dark. I, I imagine Arch. Could you try and, and, and mini- administer some medical aid to me? Are you, um, are you are you going straight into your apartment? Eh? Uh, yes. I think that would be wise. Right. Okay. Uh, what you do you think, Arch? Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. Maybe we could go to the door and and like we did just get seen by some of the snake gang. So if they know where we live, we've been dead ages ago. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> That's a, that, that, that is an astute observation. Um, right. Let's go to the apartment. I need to. Yeah. I need to not be in critical anymore. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You open up the door and the lights are already on. Good. We caught Shad probably. It's. It's. Yeah. I'm going to roll awareness anyway, though. Sure. So. You've got to be paranoid. Well, while my leg gently bleeds. Uh, nine, five, four, is 13. Uh, where's my detail? That's 21. Yeah, you can hear the TV in the uh, main room is on. All right, so I don't imagine if we were going to be ambushed, they put the fucking TV on, so... Unlikely to be a gang of pedophile rapists. <laughs> I don't know, we aren't children, well, Hang so. on, pe- pe- pedophile rapists, are they, do they rape pedophiles, or...? Yeah, yes. like, which way are they vigilantes, or what? I mean, yeah, they obviously. Just, they, they go around <laughs> raping <laughs> pedophiles. It's, it's, it's right, okay, yeah, you, um, you do head into your apartment, and Shad is in there watching TV, waiting to you. Okay. Right. Hey, I dump Scrump on the couch, preferably on top of Shad. I'm like, hey, Shad, uh, V's dead, probably. <laughs> yeah, shouldn't you tell what happened to me? I mean, it's been several yeah, hours. V, v went, like, v right, went okay. berserk mode um, and decided to start a massive fight with a wall. But unfortunately, the door like decided to fight back. Yeah, yeah Shad, Shad's just like, yeah, all right, mate. So, yeah, he wants to know what happened. Um, so you, you're telling him that V was captured by who? The doctor. The doctor. The doctor, what, Jaxa? Yeah, he, uh, yeah. he moves through time and space. Shad's just like, what? Why would V have been captured by Jaxa? Well, uh, that's the funny part, isn't it? V, 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 V got a contract, uh, alright. Um, okay, shall, Arch, <laughs> is it, should we lie to Shad? Like, <laughs> why would you lie to Shad? V, <laughs> We'll, we'll, we'll get to you in a minute. You're unconscious at the moment. What, what do you think? Should, should we tell him about V's mission? Or should we... Uh, let's see. Jack, sir, used to be a member of the... Was it Snake Gang? God, I need to take more notes because yeah, I expect V to keep fucking... Uh, Jack, is an elderly... I've got the notes here. Jack, is an elderly member of the Snake Gang who's like a veteran mob doctor. Yeah, but he's been out in the cold for a while, multiple hits on him, etc., He's got beef with the uh, the girl from the club, which is why yeah. he got the mission. Let's just tell him. Fuck it. Probably let's, let's just Shad. no harm. Like, Shad's not going to try. And, Shad hasn't killed us yet, so <laughs> I'll explain to him that V got a contract for Shad. We went there to scope it out, but V went fucking berserk and uh, and ended up getting captured. Shad, um, he he stood up to say you know to greet you and whatever, and he just sort of sits down and puts his head into his hands and just says, "You've really fucked up, mate. Shit's getting fucking serious." He's like. Snake wants your fucking kneecaps for the drugs you took, and now he wants your fucking heads for the war you started. And if it wasn't bad enough that you knocked, up, knocked off a couple of dealers, you went and did over one of their clients. In retaliation, Merlin came over to one of our bars and killed everyone in there, including Snake's son. Can you fucking imagine how pissed off he is, mate? Your best Good. bet is to make sure that Snake doesn't find out where you live and to get the fuck out of town on foot or something. If He'll find you if you use the pods, so you've got to lay low for a day or two. Uh, I've got to lay low for a day or two, I'll be back when I can, and don't fucking tell anyone you've seen me or I helped you, because if you do, I'll be fucked too. Uh, I go down to the basement and create a fucking loudspeaker. <laughs> any any questions? Anything you want to say to him? Um, um, <laughs> I'll ask him if he knows where V is, I guess. 
Like, has he heard anything about like Vinland? He just shrugs and says, no, I have no fucking idea. This is the first I've heard of it. Okay. Um, uh, I ask there? him, because he's been in contact with the Snake Gang. Yeah, he works with the Snake Gang. Exactly. What are the odds anyone knows where we are? Has he heard anything? Uh, he says, as far as I know, I'm the only person you, who knows where you live. Okay. Where does he live? Well, yeah, that's kind of one of the things, isn't it? How far do you trust this guy? I'm starting to want to shoot Sargon's NPC here, but... Why? Because <laughs> now he's a liability, isn't he? Because he's got to save his own fucking ass. <laughs> and we don't know how well we know this guy. Because you haven't told us. That's true. But you, you actually don't know him. Exactly. Me and Scrumpy knew him. Uh, you, you know, no, that's not true. You, you do know him in a professional sense, as in, you know, he has contracted you before, but you don't know him personally. Good. How many times has he betrayed me in the past? Zero. He's got quite a good reputation. Uh, fine, I guess we don't kill Chad. <laughs> let's, let's not kill Chad. Let's not kill Chad. Yeah. Um, okay, do you want to ask him anything? Is there anything you want to say? Um, let's see, where are we at? Um, him, what kind um, of reputation does Jaxer have? Does he is, is he a sadist with a particular fetish for fucking helpless men in the ass, for example? Well, yeah, yeah. What is his what is his standing with the snake gang? Like, is he still like a a well loved member? He says, "Well, yeah, Snake uses him to get information out of people." Oh, uh, ah, uh, beautiful. Uh, oh, and <laughs> that's where we live. We should have killed me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he's like, that okay, he, he, he says you want to watch out for a really nasty fucker called Martin. He's this huge tattooed dude with a red serpent on his face. He snakes right hand man and he's fucking mental. And a mirror at Electric Knights can't be trusted either apparently. And needless to say Merlin and his crew are looking for you as well. There's this little chink called Lou So and he's a fucking nightmare as well so fucking stay, stay clear from him. Um, either way, get fucking armed or get out because all hell is coming. I don't know what to fucking do because this is going to end up in all-out warfare. This is going to bring the fucking goon squads. When the security call comes down, everyone's shit's going to get gripped. We need to find a way out and put an end to this war before it before it gets started or it's or we're all fucking finished. Um, no. this war keeps on going. I say. <laughs> I, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna look. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna look Shad straight in the eye. I'm gonna say I can't tell you how, but we do have a way to end this war. He sort of narrows his eyes and says, alright, go on, what can you tell me? No. Um, you I'll, I'll, just, I'll just tell him that we need to, if we can get into Merlin's building, the war's essentially over. Uh, he says, well, good fucking luck. Um, I tell him we found floor plans of the building, um, and we know quite a few, de- well, we know details about the building and the floor plan. And we've been planning to do this for the past few days, and we do have decent information at least. He he just shrugs and goes, "Okay, man, but I've I've never been there, um, so I don't know anything about it, and I, I just know that it's he's gonna have loads of gu- loads of his guys in there." Um. Okay. And conveniently, I'll... our sneak dude bashed his brains out against the wall. And <laughs> <laughs> he's now in the grips of if the top. Only you could have helped him, so he didn't do that. <laughs> Uh, we, we we didn't. We, there was no way we could help. You did it to yourself. Anyway, um, mm-hmm. I'll I'll just say to Shad if he knows, like, is is Snake uh, uh, thinking of launching any retaliatory attacks at Merlin? Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Snake Snake's totally mobilizing the whole gang. I mean, he's he's literally got hundreds of guys on patrols. Wait a moment. Shad has never been there. Does this mean the Snake Gang doesn't know where his hideout is? So Shad's never been where? To, his uh, hideout. to Merlin's hideout. Yeah, Merlin's the leader of the East Siders. Yeah, but that means no, 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 that Shad gave us the address for Merlin. Yeah, Shad, Shad knows where it is, but he's never been in there himself. All oh, right. Um, okay. In which case, I think we give uh, Shad all of those floor plans, all of the information we have, and ask if he can't toggle on a toggle off to Snake with it. Hmm, that's an interesting, uh, interesting idea. Yeah. Are you happy to do that, Scrum? Are you doing that? Yeah, I'm happy to do that. I'm happy to say, look, you know, if you can, if you can find a way to uh, to get to get Snake to attack, um, well, not just attack, but here's what we know. Yeah, to attack we know his address is near the top. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. We know that the buildings nearby are of equal or slightly taller, so that's a way over. They're also fairly close by and can we be... We also know they're quite low in housing, so we'll probably have very poor security. Like, the, yeah. his building has very good security, but the buildings adjacent have very poor security. And can almost certainly just almost be walked into, practically. Yes. Um, if, if Shad can find a way to get Snake to attack Merlin's headquarters, we might be able to... Um, Exploit the chaos and end the war. Um, yeah, okay. Shad looks at them and goes, "Look, I can't take these, you know, because if I take these, Snake's gonna know, want to know where the fuck I've gone." Library. Where tell, we tell, gone? Tell him you paid someone he, off at the library. Yeah, yeah, he says he's not gonna believe that. He's not gonna believe I went to a library. Um, and he says, uh, "Look, I, I, I can't let him know that I've had any contact with you, so I can't. I'm not gonna take anything." But uh, I mean, I don't even know if Snake could forgive you if you took out Merlin. I mean, it's your best shot. I'm not interested in having him forgive us. I want to kill the fucker. Yeah, well, we, we would, yeah <laughs> first of all, let's, let's bother about getting the bug into Merlin's office. But yeah, I, I'd like to yeah. kill him too, but still. Okay. Um, right, okay, well, Shan says, look, you, you know, you're obviously not fucking getting out of this, so I brought something for you. And he pulls out, he picks up a bag and starts opening it and uh, bringing out basically clothes. Uh, he's got two Kevlar vests and two... Uh, motorcycle trousers, heavy leather trousers. Why two and not three? Because <laughs> there's only two of us. The mercy of the GM in action. No. Because <laughs> he could only get two. <laughs> he's not fucking made of money, Jesus. He's giving you some free stuff that's was hundreds of credits. We've still got the heavy leather armor that we've looted anyway, so if if you miraculously get out of there, we, could, we do have some slightly used armor for you. Hmm. Only a few bullet holes. <laughs> right, okay. Um, is there anything else you want to say or do with Shad before he goes? Um, I, I'm going to hug Shad and, and tell him thank you. Just, just, just emotion, just grip him, just give him yeah, a yeah. Oh, Shad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Shad's. You know, he seems kind of taken aback by it. I mean, you know, he like pats you on the back. Like, it's all right, mate. Don't worry. You know, I'm not going to. I'm not going to let him fuck you up. Uh... I'm like I'm I'm like I'm I'm too pure for this world is is my okay. character. <laughs> so uh, if if there's nothing else you want to say to him, Shad says right, let's fucking keep your um, head down, and then he leaves. He knows the headquarter to the snake snake, yeah. Yeah. Does it, does it have a mailing address? You know where it is as well. Uh, there's no postal system to this area of the town. Mailing yes. a bomb. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Shad, Shad does deserve a hug. <laughs> and oh yeah, I just realized I hugged Jim Sterling. You. <laughs> well, you, you know, you, you got your arms kind of halfway around. So. <laughs> I, I, yeah, about a quarter circumference. <laughs> yeah, may, maybe if Arch gets around the other side, you can make it a proper hug. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. <laughs> well, oh. you're not going to hug Jim Sterling, Arch. Jesus. What a fat phobe. How, how dare you be so fat phobic? Yeah, how dare you? Just because just he probably smells like cheese. It's not the thing this way. It's not the cheese <laughs> smell I'm afraid of. <laughs> right, so you're letting Chad go, yeah? Yeah, Chad, Chad can right. go. Yeah, yeah, he, he says, yeah, keep your fucking heads down, and he buggers off. Uh, I'm right, going to write down the... Uh, yeah. Look at my vests. Yeah, yeah, let's, yeah, let's talk about the stuff you've got. Um, so the weapon was... Uh, yeah. A Dai Lung Street Master. Yeah. Pistol. Uh, well, it does. It's a medium auto pistol. Does two d six plus three damage. Oh, it's an auto pistol. Uh, auto pistol. Well, yeah. every, everything's an auto pistol. Three d six plus two. Wow. Two d six plus three, actually. Oh, two d six plus three. Yeah. Well, all right. Uh, he had one clip in the gun and one clip. Extra. How many bullets did he use? That's right. uh, he'd only, I think he only fired twice. Twice? I, was it once or twice? Me. Twice, I think. I think. I think it was twice. Yeah. He only fired. He only fired twice. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, well, the the information for it is a weapon accuracy of zero, two d six plus three, ten mil ammo, uh, twelve shots per clip with a rate of fire of two. It's unreliable. And it's got a range of fifty. Two. Uh, range, 50 meters, I guess. Yeah. Uh, you noting it down, too, because I'm carrying it, so I've already noted it down. Yeah, and Ar- Archer's only got a fucking 1d6 plus 1 pistol. Yeah, you can have that one, then, so I'll delete this from my character sheet. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, right, you've got everything? 
Yep. Yeah, medium accuracy zero, damage 2d6 plus 3, mm-hmm. two clips, 10 out of 12 bullets in the clip that's in it, rate of fire 2, range 50 meters, and unreliable. Right, um, yeah, so there are two Kevlar vests and two suits of, uh, two leather trousers. Yeah. Uh, if you're going to wear them, mark them down on your uh, hit locations, uh, in your, sorry, your, your equipment. Um, the Kevlar vest gives an armor value of 10 to the chest, to the torso, um, and the right and left legs get an armor value of 4. Four bone legs. Yeah. Right, was there anything else you needed information on? Uh, the heavy leather jacket. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm just having that on yep. me, but it's worse than the Kevlar vest. We've got, so heavy, we've, got heavy, we've got heavy leather pants and heavy leather jacket, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, it gives you four on your arms and your torso. Um, I'm just going to check the layering of armor if you're going to wear it over the vest. Uh, there's a there's a thing. I just need to get to it. Where the hell is it? Okay, it's obviously not in this section. So there's, there's only so much armor you can wear. Um, well, a Kevlar vest, a jacket sounds like it would work, but I don't yeah. know the rules around it. Yeah, no, no, they, they, it, it probably will. Um, I'm just checking. To, to uh, they're probably trying to stop you from doing like the whole you know, 5,000 t-shirts thing. Yeah. Uh, if anything, wouldn't I stay with 10 in the arms and then take the Kevlar jackets on the arm and uh, right and left arm? Uh, probably. Uh, the Kevlar jacket's only torso. Um, doesn't co- cover your arms. What um, kind of retarded jacket is this? <laughs> it's like a bulletproof vest, basically. Yeah, it's a bulletproof vest. We're um, not wearing, like, chain mail. Well, that'd be cool. No. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> nice. Kind yeah, of it, monkey ass a jacket without arms. It, 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 well, it's a, just a bulletproof vest. Um, it, chain mail would be useless. It'd be fucking nothing against the bullet. It'd look cool, though. We'd get a moral victory. That is true. It would look cool. It'd, be, it'd probably be quite useful against swords. Yeah, I mean, it'd also probably make us more intimidating. Then again, maybe a lot of the Renaissance fair. <laughs> make it like loons. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> no one wants to fuck with crazy people. That's true. Where, where is the fucking armor thing? Shit, do you reckon Merlin dresses up like a fucking wizard? No, I reckon he dresses like a pimp. Oh, but he does. But he's got, like, <laughs> just the feather raised hat. Right, okay. I, while I'm looking for this, um, does someone want to try and heal Scrum? Well, what uh, rules are we using? The just the normal convalescence rules, or can I actually do something to them? Because there's no real rules for anything except stabilization. Uh, no, no, you can you can help him heal. If you want to perform a medical check on him, then he gains an extra hit point for the day. Okay. It would, it would normally be for every two days, but I've just one per day because it's easier. Uh, medical tech that would be connected to intelligence, I'm assuming. Uh, yeah. Well, it says that the Oh, yeah. Um, it doesn't say anything there. Yeah, that's true. That's what we were wondering off last time, well, too. Uh, yeah. I, I, well, I, I'll, hang on. I'll send, I'll send you the rule book. Can you just uh, skim through it? I'll put it into the chat. Uh, skim, yeah, I've skim checked it. it. There's yeah. no mentions of it, except for charisma is bound to charismatic leadership, but I couldn't find medical tech in there. Really? Okay. Can you start that, that seems like, logically, that should be. If it's not intelligence in the game, I'm calling the game retarded and slapping it across the face and saying that's intelligence, so... <laughs> Alright. Um Okay, hang on a sec. No bearing, I do not want to roll a one. <laughs> yeah, you do. Uh right, sorry, it's the same like one can the roll ones because the trolls, that's why. <laughs> that's why bearing. Uh Alright, no no no, you mind that curse skill. Right, okay, you, you can make a first aid check uh, to make, help him so he does heal, so do that. First aid check. Yeah. Do you have first aid as a skill, or...? Yes. All right. Okay, that's tech. Interesting. Oh, no, mm-hmm. actually, no, 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 sorry, no. Uh, yeah, well, I think it is a tech skill. Um, 
But it, medical tech actually super, uh, replaces first aid, um, and instead you would normally recover one point rather than 0 0.5 points, so you get two points instead. Um, All right, so that's so, cool. So, yeah, uh, right, make a medical check. Okay. Roll the thing. There we go. Nine. Uh, right. And, and what would we decide? The, add, add your tech and your medical tech skill. Add tech, okay. Yeah. That's a 25. Right, you stitch up Scrump's horribly mangled leg. It's not that bad, but um, for now, until you've healed up, it uh, counts as crippled. Um, but yeah, do, I like, have to, do, do I just have to get out of uh, critical, though? Um, I'll check, but I'll check for next time. Um, right, okay, so Scrump, uh, you, I guess you guys are resting for the evening. Do I heal two points of damage, then? You do heal two points of damage. Yes, I'm only in series three. Right. <clears throat> v. Are you there? I'm here. Right, okay. So, you're unconscious for an indeterminate period of time. When you wake up, you are in a dark room, and you are in so, you're just in so much pain, it's unbelievable. Scream, bitch, scream. <laughs> what are you doing? Be okay. Be okay. V, what are you doing? Be okay. Are you okay, V? Oh, the... Okay, <laughs> the, so the microphone was muted. I said I have this ability to resist pain slash drugs, so I'm trying to use it to see if I'm going to scream like a little bitch or not. Uh, well, n nothing's happening to you other than the wounds you already took. All right. That's going to be useful later, I imagine. I'm just going to be silent and try to observe what's going on without dragging attention. Okay, make an awareness check. <clears throat> so I can add my combat sense to it, right? Uh, let me just check the thing. Yeah, I gave you the page and everything. Yeah, yeah okay, page one. Um, but roll the dice for now and I'll find the page. Okay, so if I can use it, it would be... Hold on. A four plus... The combat sense of six, that's a ten. Uh, plus the cool of nine, I guess. That would be nine. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. You can use it. Yeah. So it's combat sense time. goes under cool, right? So that would be like a 19 check. Uh, no, it just adds to your awareness skill. Um, awareness goes under what? Intelligence. Okay, so four plus six, ten plus intelligence, five. That's 50. Right, okay. Um, the room is not qu quite pitch black, but very close. You can see, like, um, there's, a, a, like, a Venetian blind in a window behind you. You can see the orange glow of the outside, sort of, on one side, of the, on the wall in front of you. Uh, you're facing the door. Um, you can hear something going on down the hall or something like that. There's some sort of banging and stuff. Am I being tied up? You can't move. You, your arms are restrained. Uh, can I attempt to break the restraint using sheer force? You can. What's your strength feat skill? Uh, my strength is... I don't think there is a strength feat. There is. It's under body. Oh, yeah. Uh, endurance of five, strength of zero... Yep. Uh, but I guess I have a 9 with the body, so I can use 0 plus 9. That's correct. So, going to roll for that. 7 plus 9, that's uh, 16. You cannot break the bonds holding your wrists. Do they loosen up a bit? No. Okay. Is there anything around me that I could use to try to you know, free myself like a nail into the, the wall or something like that that I could use to... You're, you're sat in the middle of the room. Uh, there are metal shelves on either side of you, but you can't really see anything on them. All right. It's dark. Um, I guess I'll just... Ha uh, can I try to break my feet free? Your feet are actually free. 
so I can just get up with the chair. Uh, you can try. Uh, another strength feat, right? No, this will be reflex. Your reflex is at third at the moment. So instead of a re reflex of nine, you have a reflex of three. Okay, I got a ten. Okay, roll again. Uh, Sixteen plus, plus three. Yeah. That's nineteen. Um, yeah, you do. You yeah, you're standing up, staggering a bit with the chair strapped to your back. Well, your arms. Right. Is there anything sharp around me? You can't see anything sharp. Um, or fire or anything like that? No, you're in a dark room. Uh, is the chair made it very sturdy, or is it flimsy that I could smash it by my back and then against the wall and it would break? It feels like it's made of metal. All right. Um, well, I guess there's nothing I can do, so I'll just sit back down and wait for someone to come in, uh, knowing that I can just get up at any time. Well, you can try to get up at any time. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. Right after about an hour or so, um, you can still hear the noise, and you can hear muffled voices. Um, and after an hour or so, the noises stop, and you're just waiting around, and then the door opens. And you can see silhouetted in the door, uh, sort of a fairly short, fat, hunched-over figure. Looks like a man. All right. Is this the uh, doctor, right? Presumably. Um, um, can I use so my awareness check to see if it's him? You should can. Nine plus five, fourteen. Certainly smells like him. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> right. I, I'm going to look at him, uh, and I'm going to tell you what the fuck are you doing? Right. The he closes the door and flips a light switch, and a spotlight comes on above you, blinding you. Yeah. You can't you can't actually see him, but you know that he's in front of you. Um, and he says, "So, who are you?" Um. I'm the guy that was. Uh, let, let, me, let me think how I'll put this. Um, I came here to make a proposition for you, and you shot me, you sick son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, you can try a persuasion roll on that. Um, let's see if I have any persuasion. <laughs> uh, actually, I, I'm going to try intimidate because I actually have points in that. Okay, but that's not a method of intimidation. Yeah, let me let me just think how I would do it. Okay. Uh, I'll just give him like a stern look and go like, uh, "You just shot me, and now you want to be friends." Uh, okay, how's that trying to intimidate him? Uh, body language, basically, plus yeah. the tone of the voice. You, you intimidate look. him in what way? What are you trying to get him to do? Uh, to be afraid of me, basically. Okay. Um, I, wa I want him on edge. Roll if you want. Four plus five, nine plus. Uh, where does intimidation come under? Cool skill. Yeah, but it's um, divided eight. by three. Uh, okay, so instead of eighteen, nine plus three, that's twelve. Right. Okay. Uh, he doesn't seem very intimidated. Okay. Uh, he, he, you can hear. He, I don't know. He seems kind of amused by you, and uh, he says, uh, "So, you, what were you saying?" What was the method of intimidation you were giving him as, again? Just body language and tone of okay. voice. Okay. Like he, he, he does just, have like a very big man tied up to a chair. That's yeah. yeah he, he just smiles and says, "Oh, you're so aggressive." <laughs> and uh, he comes in. You can like feel him standing next to you, and he pulls out a metal tray, and uh, you can see what's on it. it. Doesn't look very nice. What's on it? Uh, various kind of implements. Right. Uh, I'm going to ask him, do you know how many people have a hit on your head? Okay, he says, um, well, at least one, and I'm guessing it was Amira who put you up to this. Do you want to make a deal? He smiles and says, maybe. Amira is a bitch. She fucked me over. I actually came here to say that, to, to fake your death, and you would get off the hook, and I would get what I want. And we both win. Okay, you better try persuasion. But actually, this is what I wanted to do since the start. With a seven plus uh, where's persuasion under empathy, which at the moment is one. Okay, so an eight. Uh, he doesn't seem very persuaded. 
Mm. He pulls up a chair and sits in front of you and uh, says, right, here's how it's going to go. You're going to tell me what I want, or I'm going to make you tell me what I want. So we can do this the easy way, or we can do this the hard way. I can use intimidate and say that uh, if, if he doesn't do what I say, I mean, I eventually is going to send someone else, and he's just going to have fighting with assassins for you, the rest of his life. You've already tried intimidating him. He's not intimidated by you. Uh, no, but this is like more of a moral intimidation rather than a physical one. <laughs> Try um, seduction. <laughs> yeah, I, I, he's not the I, he's not in a receptive state. You're not in any state. To All right. Uh, so I, I'll say, yeah. What do you want to know? Who says he wants to know your name? My name is. Um, let me think of a name. Well, are you going to tell him your real name, or are you going to lie? No, to no, him? I'm, I'm going to lie to him. Okay, you better try a persuasion check. Besides, I don't even know my real name. Well, whatever, whatever name you, that you go under. Well, if you're making me do persuasion checks. Um, well, okay, fine. I'll, I'll just try. Mm-hmm. My character is really not persuasive, so two plus one—that's a three. Like, how, how will he know that I lied to him about the name? Just if you yeah. don't look like you're telling the truth. Uh, I'm covered in blood at this point. Yeah. What, 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 what did you get? What did you get in total? A two plus, I guess, the one, which is the empathy, a three. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He he says he just nods and then picks up a pair of pliers. And then grabs your hand. Uh, do you want to do anything? Uh, well, I guess I'll tell him my real name then, because uh, I don't want any more damage. So, yeah. okay, okay, fine. My name is V. Uh, he ignores what you say, grabs one of your fingers, and then swiftly rips off one of your fingernails. Jesus. Um, okay, I guess I scream like a little bitch. Uh, you can make a cool check if you want. You don't have to scream like a little bitch. Yeah, I do actually have like pain resistance thingy, so it's uh, you four can... plus the resist to drugs torture of yeah. three. That's mm-hmm. a seven. Mm-hmm. Uh, plus the one from the cool skill. That's an eight. Um, no, you scream. Okay, I, I scream like a <laughs> She's turning into a really, really like kinky like fanfic. Is it? Is this kinky? <laughs> Jesus. It's getting there. It's it's it's. it's, it's... He's just had a fucking fingernail ripped off. Try, try and seduce him. It can become like 50 shades of bees. <laughs> I, um, I do tell him, like, if you yeah. think that feels as bad as getting shot in the chest. <laughs> That's a good point. But, um, yeah, when, when you start screaming your name, he's right. Okay, nice to meet you, V. I've heard of you. Um, How did you hear? <laughs> well, I've heard that Snake wants you. Um, you heard correctly, but are you going to turn me in? Uh, he doesn't answer. And hang on a second. Wasn't Snake after him too? Like, weren't the uh, the Snake Gang also after him? We don't know that specifically. We know he has multiple hits on him, but we only know of the uh, girl. Right. He says, "Who do you work for?" Right now, I work for myself. Okay, can you better make a persuasion check? But, but it's the truth. <laughs> it's not the truth, V. <laughs> okay, I got a 10. Uh, so 11. Right, okay. Plus the one... No, how much was it? Empathy? Yeah. Uh, that's a 12. Hmm. No, he does. he does seem to think that that might be a plausible answer. Hold on a moment. Does V have one empathy? No, he's got four empathy. He's just so badly wounded. His stats are third. Okay. Um, right, okay. Uh, he, he believes that that's who you work for. Um, so he says, so what were you doing? Uh, no, no, he already knows. Well, you were hit hit on him. You hit hit. Yeah. Um, right, okay. So he says... Who hit have you hit been... on him? <laughs> Put to, to kill him. Did you tell him that or what? Uh, actually, V is trying to persuade him that he's there to fake his death after right. he's trying to shoot him. Right, okay, yeah, okay. So he does ask you, what are you, what are you doing here? Uh, um, someone stole something from me, very valuable, in Amira's club. And when I went to Amira to ask her for the footage, she was a really uh, of a cunt to me. Uh, and she said that I would have to give her 3,000 credits. I don't have 3,000 credits, so she made me work for it. And I decided that if she's going to be such a bitch, might as well screw her over and 
you know, come over here, try to talk to you. But then he started shooting me, so I didn't even manage to say that. All I wanted to do was to just get some ketchup, rub it over your face, take a picture, and send it to Amira. She thinks you're dead. I don't give a fuck, because I want to leave town anyway. And that's where we both went. <laughs> he says, so why were you banging your head on the wall outside? Good question. Well, there, there, were some, uh, there were some drunks in the building, and they pushed me. So I just banged my head, and then he started <laughs> shooting at me. Oh, you better make uh, an amazing persuasion check here. Because... Why is it amazing? It's so plausible. It shouldn't, like, really know. Who <laughs> did? Uh, is, is there a reason why like this wouldn't seem plausible to you? He might have <laughs> kept the afterwards. I think the ketchup might have been a step too far. Okay. So why not just say tell him you're an idiot? <laughs> yeah, A three. Yeah, he, he just laughs. He doesn't believe you. Yeah, um, you're a moron. I'm going to look at him. <laughs> yeah, this yeah, is the yeah. truth. No, no. He he picks up uh, something you don't recognize and puts it over one of your fingers and then starts twisting it. Um, it starts to really hurt. Do you want to make a cool check? Yeah. So a four plus the drugs resistance a three seven, uh, and it's under the cool nine, so it's a sixteen. Uh, no, you only get three. Oh, okay. Um, so it's actually seven, only ten. Yeah, it's ten. Um, you don't scream too loudly as it starts crushing your finger. Right. I, I will say, you know, might as well kill me because that's the truth. Uh, he does one point of damage to you as he breaks your finger. Okay. Make a stun check. Or it's, it's not even a stun check, it's a mortal check. Means I can die? Uh, probably not. Well, hold on, it's a d6, right? Uh, no, it's a d10. I rolled a 10. Uh, then you fail. Mm. Um, you are losing... Well, you, you are stable... Um, after you you lose consciousness and regain it a few moments later as he's feeding you some kind of drug. Right. Um, so I guess I can use resist drugs. You, you might <laughs> resist not, the drug that's keeping you alive? Yeah, you might not want to resist this drug. Oh, I thought it's like a truth serum or some shit. No, the, there's okay. no such thing as a truth serum. Well, there, there might be. The, but there is. Oh, well, whatever. He doesn't have one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Or at least he hasn't broken it out yet. Um, right, okay. Uh, so, he says, ask you again. Why did you, uh, what were you doing? Well, I repeat the same story, because that's the truth. Okay, he breaks another finger. You take some point of damage. Make another stun check. He knows you're lying. But I'm not lying, that's the thing. You are. You are. So, what? that's yeah. a five. Uh, right, okay, what's your, your save is nine. Um, and you're currently on minus four, so yeah, no, uh, yeah, that you're you're not stunned. You you remain conscious, so yeah, that's good. Uh, and he asks you again. Um, well, I guess he has like seven more points of damage to inflict. So let's see how much is that. Uh, how many broken fingers do you want? Yeah, that's the question. Um. Let me see, because if I tell him the truth, he'll probably kill me, so. It's like, yeah, I was with two other guys. They actually wanted to kill you, and I just wanted to fake your death. Correction, your honor. <laughs> I, 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 uh... <laughs> I, I, I would say, listen, if I wanted to kill you, I would have just got in guns blazing. I had I, a I, shotgun. I would like a different attorney to, uh, to represent me. Like, I, I could have... <laughs> but... I will ask him, look, if I wanted to kill you, I would have just bursted down the door. I would have just shot at the door. Why would I just... <laughs> Why would I bash my head against the wall? This is actually a wall. really good argument. <laughs> yeah, this is the question for the ages. <laughs> Why would I do that? Come I, on. I, I am more than capable of bashing a door with my bare fist. Why would I just hit my head on the wall if I just wanted to kill you? <laughs> he, he just says, well, that's kind of what I'm trying to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the story I gave you is true, and uh, he clearly doesn't believe you. Um, he says, "Right, who who are you working with?" Uh, I'm working with two other friends of mine. Okay, who, what are the names? Yeah, I, I will give them the names, considering the fact that they left me to die. 
Okay. Um, right, he, uh, he nods. He says, right, okay. I, he knows who they are as well. All right. Um, he says, right. I don't he, mention Shad, though. <laughs> well, just to be clear, like, Shad is good. He, uh, he says, right, who else are you working with? Besides uh, Amira, well, if, if he's going to be like that, I will also say Shad. Well, you could say yeah, but then I have to make a persuasion check and, you know... Well, it depends. If it's something that he believes, then you might not have to. Uh, well, I'll say no one, because um, the snake guys want us dead. We used to work for them. So no one wants to work with us. We're just trying to get out of town. Hmm. Okay. Um, he says, why, why did you betray Snake? Um, okay. Well, we got robbed... Um, in Amira's place. Mm -hmm. So we were trying to find out who robbed us by looking at the videotapes, and she sent us here to kill you. He says, yeah, I, I, I heard you the first time, but why Why didn't you... Why did it take three weeks? For you? Why did you disappear? Where did you go? The Eastsiders were trying to kill us, so we just had to stay low. They were increasing their patrols in our neighborhood, and... Uh, we we were unable to leave the house because of that. He says, where do you live? See, at this point, I'm wondering if I should tell him. But I guess if I don't, he'll make me a persuasion, do a persuasion check. And considering that Scrump and Arch were so fast in running the fuck away, <laughs> I wonder why. Um, I guess I tell him the address, but one floor down. And I do it really fast so he wouldn't find out that I'm bullshitting. Well, you better make a persuasion check. Yeah. Six. What did you get in total? Mm, I guess it's six plus one, so a seven. Uh, it's the exact address, okay. just one floor down instead of the actual floor that we're getting. So if we're right. at like the fourth floor where I said the third. Okay. Um... Right, he leans in and taps his lip when he's, as he studies your face. And he does this for an uncomfortably long period of time. And then he gets up, turns off the lights, and leaves the door and locks it. Hmm. Uh, did he leave the sharp metal objects? Uh, he pushed them towards the side of the wall, but they are still in the room. Right, well, considering that I can't get up, I'm going to walk over them and try to grab one you know, as awkwardly as possible. Right and away, or are you going to wait a period of time? or? Uh, well, first of all, doing an awareness check, yeah, you're right, to see if he's actually gone or he's still in the room. So A4 plus, plus 6, that's 10, plus uh, the cool is of 3, that's 13. Uh, right, yeah, I mean... <clears throat> You you sit there for a little while. He, you know, everything seems quiet. You can't even hear anything else in the apartment. Right. Well, I'm After I'm going to silence. yeah, I'm going to try to um, grab one of the sharpest things and cut myself loose. Okay, go ahead. Make a reflex. Uh, seven plus the the one, I guess. That's an eight. Uh, right, no, you fall over. Hmm. I'm going to try to use the strength to break myself free. Uh, you've already tried doing that. But I also tried the reflex, and you let me roll again, so... Yeah, but no, you're, you're doing a reflex because you're trying an action, but you've already tried to break these things. You can't do it. Hmm. Um, can't I try some more? I mean, eventually they will weaken if you keep... <clears throat> no, you, at it. You, you can't try anymore. Um, okay. But yeah, you're on the floor. Can I try to get up? You can. You made a lot of noise falling over, but you can. Mm, five plus the one, that's a six. Nope, you end up knocking over something off the shelves. Is it any close to the chair? Um, yeah, it's like a few feet away from you. Can I try to wiggle to that position? Uh, yeah, you can wiggle over there. Uh, it appears to be a sealed box. Okay. So six plus one, that's a seven. You can't get it open, which is what I'm assuming you're trying to do. Yeah, with my mouth and stuff like that. Yeah, you can't get it open. Mm. 
Can I try to get myself back up? You can. Another seven. What, in total? Yeah. Uh, you fail. You're just kind of... You've got your face pressed to the floor and you've got your knees up. So you could kind of crawl if you wanted to. I'm going to try to crawl towards the table with the torture instruments and try to, like, knock it in order to get some sharp fall over. Uh, yep. Yeah. Hang on a second. Um, are you adding your athletic skill to this? Because I think you probably should be. Oh, do I have an athletic skills? You tell me. Yeah, I do have an athletic skills of four. Jesus. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> well, wow. um, right, okay, so you want to knock the chair on the table or something, right? So you yeah. want to knock the table over. Yeah. Okay, roll. Eight plus four, that's a 12. Plus uh, athletics is under reflex, which is a three, that's a 15. Yep, you smack the table with the one of the legs of the chair, and it goes clattering across the floor in the dark. Using my awareness to see where it went. Mm -hmm. Another eight plus the combat sense of six. That's a fourteen. Plus, plus the three, one from plus, your intelligence. Yeah, plus one from the intelligence. That's fifteen. Uh, yeah, you can see a scalpel lying in the floor. Going to try to crawl over it. Yep, that's you can crawl. That's a 10. What are you trying to do? To pick, pick it up. up. Yeah, okay. Crawling in my V. <laughs> <laughs> 11. <laughs> yeah. Mate, the more I'm here, the more they find out about you guys. So. <laughs> His wounds, they will not heal. Yeah, so uh, 11 plus um, the athletic skill of... 4, that's 15, plus 2, that's 15, plus the reflex... A three, so three, 18. yeah, eighteen. Yeah, you grip it in your right hand. Right, so now I'm trying to cut myself up. <laughs> what you mean? Cut, cut, cut the, the cut, cut the rope. Yeah. On your hand. yeah, cut. The um, right, okay. What skill would be appropriate for this? I guess the escape one. What's your dodge escape skill? No, I don't think dodge escape is the appropriate one. It should be more like dexterity type of thing. Yeah, well, that is a reflex skill, and you are trying to escape bonds, so I think it's enough. Resist torture drugs would be better. <laughs> no, that was when you were trying to resist torture. Make, a dodge, uh, make an escape check. Nine. Plus. Yeah, plus the one, I guess. Uh, what, what was it? Dodge? Or what did you say? Yeah, put dodge and escape. Yeah, I have zero there, and I guess okay. it's under the reflex, which should be three. Mm -hmm. So it's a 12. Hmm. Okay, after I don't know, a few minutes worth of like soaring, you managed to get your hand free. Jesus Christ, finally. So I guess I caught the other hand. I don't have to make a reflex for that. That's correct. Um, right. Yeah, I get up, and I make an awareness check to see for any weapons or anything that I can use, especially my shotgun. <laughs> okay, go on. Uh, another 9, plus the... Six, that's 15, plus the one from intelligence, that's 16. Uh, you can't see anything... I mean, you, you certainly can't see your shotgun. Uh, you can't see anything of any particular use beyond the scalpel you're already holding. Right. Um, what about um, the window? At what floor are we? You are... You were on the seventh floor, weren't you? Okay. Um, you can go up to the window if you want. No, uh, is there... Anything else, like a fire escape or something like that? No. All right. Uh, the door is locked, right? Yep. You can try it if you want. I guess uh, I should make a sneak skill, uh, a sneak attempt. I'm going to hide in a corner. Right, okay. Which one? The one mm. that the, the door opens inwards. Um, so you could hide in the corner behind the door or in the other corner. I'm going to try to force the door, actually, with my bare hands. Strength feet? Seven plus strength of... Where the hell is the strength? Zero. But it's under... Body? Body, yeah. We need those gypsy crits. Ten, that's a... T uh, so, a roll of ten. What, in total? Yeah. Yeah, you failed to force the door. 
I'm going to use the chair to smash it against the door. Uh, okay. Go ahead. Uh, also strength, or is this more like melee, brawling type of thing? Um, be melee, probably. Yeah, I have melee skill of three, so... Five plus three, that's an eight, plus uh, a three. Okay, um... Eleven. You, you smack the chair off the door, but no discernible damage is done. Did the chair got broken? No. Uh, can I do it again? If you want. Right, doesn't work. Um, yeah, the, the, the chair doesn't appear to be doing any damage to the door. I'm going to try to break the window with the chair. It's just glass. You could. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And I'm going to take one of the shards of glass as, as a weapon. Okay. Um, How is yeah. the shard of glass going to be better than the scalpel? Yeah, it's longer, say. bigger. The scalpel is actually a really small instrument. Cut, cut your own hand. Yeah, it, it seems... I'm act- well. I will find like a piece. Of- yeah. Listen, I will find a piece of cloth or a bed sheet. Is there anything like that? Well, you could use something you're wearing. Yeah, I'll take my shirt off and I'm going to right. wrap the shard of glass with my shirt. A lot of times. Okay. Uh, okay. You can. Yeah, you can find a, a sort of dagger-sized shard of glass. Yeah. Um, wrap it in your shirt so you can hold it. Right. Um, it's cold now. You don't have a shirt and the window's broken. Okay, I will put the chair next to the window so that when someone walks in, their first impression would be that I jumped off. Okay, yeah. Okay, now I'm moving to one of the corners and using the stealth skill. Right, okay, roll your stealth. 3 plus 10, that's 13. Plus, uh, where is stealth under? It's under reflex, so 3 more, that's 16. <clears throat> right, okay. How long so I'm hiding, you... like, right behind the door that when you enter and you make, like, two steps in front, uh, mm-hmm. you know, I, I will be right behind. Yeah, okay. So how uh, I take you're just going to stay there indefinitely? Yeah, until someone comes in. Right, okay. Um, right, okay, you, you wait about two hours, and then you hear the front door of the apartment open. Okay. Uh, you doing anything? You just holding your awareness breath? check to see if it's one guy or more. Okay. Seven plus. Uh, the six. That's fifteen plus uh, the intelligence. That's sixteen. Uh, you can hear two distinct and heavy sets of footsteps okay. coming into the apartment. Yeah, I just stay there. Okay. Uh, after a few minutes, you can hear muffled voices from the other side of the wall, and the door opens. Uh, can I use my awareness to see what they're talking about? You can try. <laughs> Two plus uh, the six, that's an eight, plus the one, that's a nine. Yeah, no, it's just muffled voices. Okay. Uh, yeah, the door's open. Are you doing anything? Uh, did uh, both people walk in the room, or that you, just one? You don't know, and you can't see anything, because the door's in your face. Can I... Okay, so I'm waiting for the guy to walk past, and then I try to sneak behind him and exit the door. Okay. Um, right, okay. So you walk in. Uh, the two people, you can hear them walk in on the other side of the door. I, I, I just allowed them to like walk towards the chair, I guess, to look out the window. I assume well, that's I, what I, they would... I'll tell you what they do, then. Um, right. You can hear the doctor, Jax's voice. He's like, shit. And he rushes over to the window. Right. You can see like from behind the door. He's He starts leaning out the window. Guys, what do you think I should do? Should I push him you out of the window? Them. You can't ask them. Okay. What are you going to do? Um, is he alone in the room? You can just see him, but you heard two sets of footsteps. I guess I'll try to sneak behind him and just push him over. Okay. Um, make a stealth check. Six plus ten, sixteen plus three more, that's nineteen. Okay, now make an awareness check. 
shit. A two plus uh, six, I guess. That's an eight. Plus, where's the awareness sound? Uh, plus one, that's a nine. Right. So you step out from behind the door, and a voice from what is supposed just behind you, a deep voice, shouts, Holy shit, he's behind the door. Roll some initiative. 9 plus 6, 15, plus... Um, Your awareness, if you have any. Plus 1, 16. Right here. I did have a pretty cool plan there, didn't I? That was a terrible plan. Well, why would Except it for going over to push the guy in the window when you know there's a guy standing in the doorway. It was good, yeah. Well, what else would you want me to do? I, I, just, I just thought pushing him would be really funny. <laughs> I mean, he, he would have turned around eventually. Right? Well, you had a sneak on him. Just step around the door, slashing in throat height, and odds are you'd caught him. I, I, no, I just want to see. I want to see Jax go out the window. That's what I want to see. Then, then Sargon would have made like uh, make an awareness roll, <laughs> make a combat initiative roll. Right. Sorry. What, what did you get at the MV? Uh, Fifteen. I think. You got sixteen. Uh, sixteen. Yeah. You got sixteen. Right. V, you're actually first. Okay. So what are you doing? Because directly to your left is a huge guy blocking the door. Let me guess. Um, He's got a red snake on his face. He's silhouetted, so you can't see. I'm going to walk to the doctor and use an intimidate roll. Um, I guess I'll put the knife at his throat, then try to turn him around to face the other guy okay. and say, um, if you let me go, no one has to get hurt. Okay. Are you sure that's what you want to do? Well, what else can I do? I mean, the guy, the doctor is a really brittle, hunchback man, so he's not going to be able to put quite a fight. Okay, hang on. Need to get the rules for you grabbing him. Uh, I think it's brawling. We'll see. Okay, right. This is an ambush, technically. So you yeah. do actually have a plus five to hit advantage. So I could like throw him out the window, basically. Um, possibly. You only get it for one one round. Um, right. Well, the thing is, like, they could have weapons, so which is why it would be good. I uh, know. Not gonna even. No. Yeah. I mean, I, I could just go at the guy from behind me and try to kill him. Yeah. I mean, he's he's he literally like a meter away from you. How uh, how strong is he? You've no idea. About the silhouette, like, are we talking an Arnold Schwarzenegger type of dude? We're, or we're just... talking a huge motherfucker. Okay. Um, um. Right. Okay. Um. Yeah. What what are you doing? You. I mean, I suppose you can run up to him and threaten him with the the glass shard. Um, yeah, but I have my back turned against the other guy, so... Yeah, I'll run towards him and threaten him with the glass shard, I guess. I'll say, just uh, just let me go, and no one has to get hurt, okay? Just let me go. Okay, I mean, the, the doctor has his back to you, so you can literally just run up to him and put the thing against his throat before he knows what's going on. Um, oh, so I don't have to actually make a roll or anything like that. And, and can I use the well, doctor not, as a human shield, by the way? You're not actually attacking him. Um, right. And I'm, I can't find the fucking, any sort of grappling rules. So I'm just, I'm just looking for them. But, uh, Doesn't it be brawling? I mean, it's... Probably. Uh, I'm just looking, so I want to make sure I'm getting it right. But, I mean, you can go over and threaten him with the, the thing. I mean, that doesn't require any skill. Yeah, no, I, I just want to, to, to hold him, you know, so that he doesn't escape. Yeah, I, I know he's going to hold him. And also use him as a human shield in case the other guy has a weapon. Yeah, so that I, I don't. Um, although I can't seem to find... 
any pertinent rules. So I'm guessing it is brawling. Um, right, you want to grab him, yeah? Yeah. Right, okay. Um, grab him and intimidate the other guy as well. D10 plus your reflex plus your brawling. Okay. <clears throat> Seven plus uh, my brawling of three, that's ten. Yeah. Plus my reflex of three, that's thirteen. And you get plus five because you're ambushing. Yeah. So it's eighteen. Um, yeah. Yeah, he, uh, he struggles, but he's not particularly strong. And he... You, know, you, you spin him around, you've got the shard to his throat. Right. Um, I shout out to the other guy. Oh, no, you kind of see your guy now. So. Right. He puts his hands up, and the guy in the door draws a gun from his hip. Right. It's your turn. Uh, I try to intimidate the guy, and I say, uh, drop the gun, no one has to get hurt. I really don't want to kill this guy. Okay, roll an intimidation check. Five, six plus five, eleven. Mm, plus intimidation under cool. Uh, that's free, so fourteen. Okay. Um, he <clears throat> he just laughs and <clears throat> excuse me. He just kind of gives you a chuckle. Uh, he raises his hands, but he doesn't drop his gun. And he says, "Okay, all right. No need to no need to do anything crazy." All right. Uh, is the doctor having any weapon on him? Well, do you want to search yeah, him for something or what? No, making an awareness check to see if he has like any gun or anything strapped to him. Okay, go for it. Like the silencer he came up with before. Yeah, go for it. 9 plus 6, 15 plus 1, 16. Uh, yeah, he's got a gun and a holster just under his arm. Okay, I'm throwing the knife away. Uh, I, I'm, I'm taking the, uh, uh, you, the gun. You can't, you can't this time. Um, right. It's the so, isn't it like awareness check half a turn? Uh, no, it's the whole turn. Right. Uh, the doctor says, all right, take it easy. Take it easy. Nothing has to go crazy. No one has to get hurt. Right. Um, but he, he just complies with what you're doing. Yeah. Um, the, uh, the huge guy in the doorway says, look, put down the fucking, I don't know, knife, I assume he thinks yeah. you have. Put down the knife, and you can you'll be free to go. Okay. Um, I go like, yeah, sure. I'm putting down the knife, like I'm throwing the shard glass, and then I'm immediately taking the gun from the doctor. Okay, make a reflex check. Uh, athletics as well. Uh, no, 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 not athletics. Hang on. Um, was there not some sort? Of Probably, I, I think just reflex. Oh, come you on. You probably be adding your uh, combat reflex to this, since this is a yeah. combat situation. No, combat sense, it just allows them to detect these things. Oh, come on, let me use athletics. No, no, it's your reflex. Okay, so uh, an uh, 8 plus... Uh, no, sorry, 5 plus uh, the 3, that's an 8. Um, you grab his gun, but it's caught on some sort of catch. I use my... Uh, I, I will say... I can crush his neck with my arm without any having any weapon, so don't make anything sudden. Okay. Um, right, okay. Uh, Jaxa starts fighting back now that you've thrown away the glass shard. Yeah. Um, so roll a d10 and add your brawling. Six plus the brawling of four, that's a ten, plus the three reflex, that's thirteen. Uh, yeah, he breaks free of your grip and oh, come on. rushes over towards the door. Um, Martin, or the, the chap in the door, which is Martin, uh, he takes a step to the side and points his gun at you and says, don't move. Right, I'm go. not moving. Okay, he says, get down on the floor. I'm getting down on the floor. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hang on. Is Martin the right hand man of the? Hang on a second. Right. Um. He walks over and he's got his gun pointed directly at your head, and says. <clears throat> and he starts he starts talking to the doctor to find out who you are, what you're doing. And as soon as he learns who you are, 
He's like, holy shit, you have been such a pain in the ass. Um, I'll ask, am I going to be killed? He just smiles, of course you're going to be fucking killed. Can I use an athletics check to jump up and try to wrestle the gun away from him? Sure. Seven. Plus uh, the athletic skill. Where is it? Four, four, eleven, plus three, that's fourteen. Okay, yeah, you jump up and you're trying to take the gun out of his hand, yeah? Yeah, do I use brawling as well for that? Yep. So 14 plus, um, plus the free, that's 17. Take into account I probably caught him by surprise at this point. Yeah, he's expecting you to try something. Mate. <laughs> what did you get in total? 17. No, you, um, you go to grab it and he just grabs your wrist and twists your arm and puts you back on the floor. Okay. And he laughs. He thinks this is hilarious, you know. Um, he gives you a bit of a sort of tap with the boot of the, uh, the butt of the gun on the back of your head. It hurts, but it doesn't do any serious damage. Um, and then he just motions to the doctor. The doctor comes over, and you can see that he's got a needle in his hand. And he is going to try and stab you. Can I try to grab the shard of glass and wrestle the doctor again for being an idiot and coming next to me? Make a brawling check. Uh, oh, well, you want to get the shard of glass? Um, well, yeah, it's probably it's, next to me, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's right next to you. Um, well, hang on a second. Right, the doctor stabs you with the needle, but he stabs you on a bony bit, and it snaps. Okay, so I uh, will do the... It is your I, turn. Yeah, I will try to grab the doctor again. Oh, it's, okay. Uh, right, you're on the floor. The guy's pointing the gun at your head... You're going to grab the shard of glass and try and get the doctor. No, uh, grab the shard of... Uh, well, actually, I should try to grab the gun. Like, if it's out of my head. You, yeah, but you're face down on the floor. You can't just grab the gun. You'd have to get up. Uh, well, I will make an athletics check. Okay. So it's five. I mean, they don't want to kill me because I've already been dead. Um... Plus the athletics check of... Where is it? I should have learned it by now, but this is... Uh... You should have done it. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, a 4, 9, plus uh, the 3, that's a 12. Um, yeah, you, you jump to your feet. All right, so now I will use um, brawling, I guess, to grab the doctor as a human shield again. Okay, you've got minus 3. 9. Plus the rolling of 3, that's 11. Plus 3, that's 14. So you're on 11. Uh, you're lucky the doctor's a fucking old man. <laughs> um, yeah, you, you grab the doctor. Right. Um, right. Uh, the Martin goes to shoot you. Well, he shows the doctor because the doctor is between me and him. He's not between you and him. You're just grabbing hold of him. Okay. Um, I hope he misses. <laughs> He doesn't Shouldn't I get my combat sense to be able to try and dodge that shot? No. Okay. Uh, what's the seven? Um, it's the right leg. Right. You take 14 points of damage in your right leg. 14? Yeah. What's your body type modifier? And what, what's your body type modifier? Um, where exactly do I find that? It's under your stats. Have a body of nine, but yep, it's BTM under stats. Oh yeah, minus three. Right, okay, so you only take eleven points of damage. Okay. Right, uh, you better make a stun check. Well, I'll probably get, fail. You need to get three or less. No, I'll fail it. Oh, I got two. Holy right, shit. You're, you're still on your feet. Okay. Um, it's your go. What are you doing? I'm trying to grab the gun from the doctor. Uh, okay. Go ahead. Seven plus... 
what, what else do I use? I guess it's brawling. Uh, yeah, yeah, your brawling check. Two Ten brawling. plus three, thirteen. Okay. Uh, he manages to keep your hands away from it. So I, I get like an eleven, and I manage to like grab the guy as a human shield. But if I try to take the gun, <laughs> yeah, you you're currently grappling with the guy. You're trying to grab his gun, yeah. and he's keeping your hand away. Okay. So. It's do I now, have another? Do I have another action this turn? Uh, no, it's well, no, it's his go, and he's going to try and break free of you. Um, <laughs> roll a dice. Roll a d10 and add your brawling. Ten. Yeah, he got a one. Uh, he fails to break free of you. Where was uh, this roll earlier? In, yeah, in in fact, in his clumsiness, he manages to make you guys switch places. So now he is between you and Martin. Uh, it's Martin's go. Uh, he points the gun at you and says, let him go. Come on, Martin, we've been through this. I don't want to die. <laughs> I, mean, I know what happens if I let him go. So if I'm going to die anyway, I'm going to take the son of a bitch that got me dead any with me. So... You have two choices. One, you leave the building, Martin. Or two, I'm just going to jump out the window with the doctor. You're you're actually you're closest to the door. Oh, I'm closest Martin, to the door. Yeah, yeah, because he yeah. He's okay. he's standing in front of the window. Martin's between you and him and you're close to the door. Okay, Martin, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to walk out and close the door. If you open the door, I'm just going to tr- to snap this guy's neck. Uh, at this point, I know you're going to kill me no matter what. I have no interest in killing this guy. I just want to live. Okay, he doesn't say anything to that. Uh, what are you doing? To your so I'm going to easily back away, tell the doctor to close the door. To be fair, you could just rush out of the door. I mean, it's only like three meters. I could, but the thing is, would they catch after me? I mean, they have guns. I have no weapons. I'm sure they would probably run after you, yeah. Yeah, and they would probably shoot me as well, so... Um, I'm sure they'd try, yeah. Yeah. Um, can I push the doctor away and grab his gun at the same time, but if I miss this action, that would be quite fucked up. Um, well, no, you could either try and push him into Martin, or you could try and take the gun. I will, t- I will use an Intimidate check first to, to make sure Martin gets it, that if he... Does anything, I will kill the doctor. That, that'll be your turn if you do that. Okay. Well, I, I guess I'm going to try to get the gun again. Uh, just just tell me, like, what kind of roll do I need to make? A brawling roll. No, I mean the dice number so that I can get the gun. I'm not telling you that. Roll the dice. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus, what do you... <laughs> um, well, uh, yeah, fine. Seven... Plus the rolling of three ten plus three more that's thirteen. Um, he actually still manages to keep your hand away from the gun. Right, Ma- Martin says, "Look, you've got one last chance before I shoot you in the fucking head. Let him go." Well, I'm telling Martin. Uh, can Can I talk with well, him it's, without? It's your go now, so. Yeah, can I talk with Martin without done. causing an action or? Um, just... you you can, but it is your go now, so. Yeah, well, I I asked Martin. Last time I let him go, you wanted to kill me anyway? Martin just says, of course we're going to fucking kill you. So why should I let him go? Because otherwise we're going to kill you slower. Okay. I guess I push the doctor as hard as I can, I close the door after me, and then I break around for it. Well, okay, let's do one thing at a time, shall we? Okay. Um, right, you're going to shove the doctor into... Yeah, as hard room. as possible. Right, okay. Uh, right, um, brawling. Five plus three, that's an eight. Plus three more, that's a twelve. Right, okay, hang on a second. Oh my god, you're such a lo- lucky motherfucker. Right, uh, the, the doctor is a weak old man, and you manage to overpower him quite easily and shove him forward. And Martin rolls a critical fail on his dodge skill. They both. Just fly out the window? No, that's my gypsy luck. They they don't fly out of the window, but they do collide into one another, and they both fall over. Okay, uh, I'm going to shut the door and run as fast as possible. Right. Okay. Well, oh. 
Also, I'm making an awareness check to see while I run if I can Hang see on, my shotgun while I'm running. Hang on. <laughs> right, the doctor staggers to his feet, but Martin fumbles it and falls over again. <laughs> okay. um, right, what are you doing? So I'm running out, but mm -hmm. while I'm running out, I'm just looking you, left you and right. You can slam the door if you want on your way out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I do that. But I'm also looking to see if uh, I can see my shotgun or any other weapon while I'm running. I'm not going to stop to look, but, you know. Okay, yeah. No, you, you run yeah, out yeah, to the yeah. corridor. Um, it's it's <laughs> a corridor with a couple of doors leading off of it. It's got a coat rack at the end. There's nothing else in the corridor. Okay, I just grab the coat rack while I... Uh, the, the coat from the coat rack while I run. Is there a coat? You'd have to stop and get it, I suppose. Yeah, is there anything on the coat rack? Uh, yeah, there are coats on there. I, I just, you know, as I run, I just snatch one. doesn't matter which. Okay, okay. you can snatch yeah. a coat. Yeah, um, I... yeah you, you can run to the end of the hallway and uh, get, you know, get to the door this turn because uh, your movement's halved. Yeah, okay. So um, your movement's, what, 13? All right. Right. Um, okay, hang on. So Right, okay, it's your turn. Don't tell me the door is locked. I mean, who the fuck locks the door? <laughs> um, it is, but you can just open it from the inside. You know, okay, I, I open it, I slam it back behind me, and I go down the stairs. Uh, yeah, you can start running out down the stairs. Um, you can hear the noise of the footsteps and the yelling of them behind you. Okay, I'm running for my life. I'm not looking back. I'm just, mm -hmm. you know, doing my best to get out of the building. Okay, um... Oh, and while I'm running, I'm beating at the doors to create a ruckus, you know, like I'm running and I'm doing at yeah, random yeah, okay, doors okay, okay. in order to, to yeah. get people aware. Yeah, okay. Um, right, okay, yeah, you get down the first flight of steps, and then someone takes a shot at you. How the fuck did they manage to get behind? Okay. Well, they're just looking down over the banister. Um, well, I would obviously not go so that they can shoot me from it. I would stay close to the You don't have a choice, man. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, right, okay, no, they miss. The first one, and they okay. miss on the second one, you lucky motherfucker. Okay, now I'm running close to the wall so that on, someone on, from on, above on, on, cannot on. take a shot at me. Hang on, hang on. Um, right, and then someone else takes shots. Fucking hell, you're so lucky. How many people are there? Two, but they can fire twice. Okay. Right, no, they miss all times, actually. Okay. Right, okay. Uh, what are you doing? Continue to run down the stairs, yeah? Um, is there, like, any other doors that I can just, you know, no, like... Or, or there, there are doors, but they're all closed. Right. Um, so I'm, I'm keeping as close to the wall as possible. Unless someone catches up to me, they can't shoot from above. No, that's, that's not true. That's not true. <laughs> I mean, it's not true. That it... it's, it's just not true if you deal with it. Um, but you continue to roll down, run down the stairs, yeah? Uh, what floor am I again? Uh, you can get you. You're like a floor down. Can I just jump? Why the fuck? What four floors? Oh, one floor down. I thought one floor from. Well, well I guess you I have gone one floor down. I oh, know. Sorry. It, yeah. No, six floors. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll keep running. <laughs> I mean, you you, you could get the four want. floors, B. Just put us all out of misery. Uh, well, I'm dead at this point because <laughs> they they will fire four bullets every turn. Oh, uh, um, I, I keep well, running. I, I, actually, you're getting further away from them. Um, right, okay. They they keep firing. Uh, one, one, you hear a you hear a click as one of their guns jams. Um, Are you just rolling ones over there? Uh, mate, honestly, I haven't rolled more than the four in the last six rolls. <laughs> and honestly, this is genuine gypsy luck. I I'm just. Well, I'm, to be honest, the luck would be. I would have got the gun from the doctor, and then I would have killed them both. That would be the lucky one. So he's told us, told them who we are and where we live, but he's managed to get. get, get. I honestly don't give a fuck, considering you left me there. Like all of this could have been avoided. So yeah, the, f the fact that you're there in the first place means all of this could have been avoided. Um, geez, look, I, look, I'm going to tweet you out a fucking print screen of what I'm rolling here, because this is just. <laughs> Seriously, this is just the most important thing in the world. I, I, I'm just going to tweet this out and just be like, hashtag gypsy luck. But he's like a curse. It's like he keeps messing up, but, but he, you can't, he can't die. <laughs> Mate, 
<laughs> to be honest, if Scrump wouldn't have shot at the East Siders, we wouldn't be on bad terms with them. There wouldn't be a war. Look, 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 look at look at those fucking rolls, honestly. Okay. <laughs> what do you mean by the shot of the East Siders? You you beheaded well. You no, 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 no. I I intimidated one of the East Siders. You started fighting with them, and then you were like, "Oh, let's go rob a gra- uh, How drug." How about we get V out of the building first, and yeah. then we can blame <laughs> V afterwards. Yeah, yeah, V. You they they're not chasing you any further. They're just shooting at you, and at this point, uh, you're beyond the chance of them actually hitting you. Right, okay, so I guess I'm, I'm out of the building. You are out of the building, and you're onto the street, and you're hugely damaged. I put the trench coat over me so people don't see my wounds. It's, it's not a trench coat. What is it? It's a, a stylish little blazer. I put the stylish <laughs> little blazer over me so that it covers some of my wounds. Um, yes, but you're bleeding heavily. Yeah, okay, I'm going to go towards the... Uh, is, is there some money in the stylish little blazer? You can check the pockets. I'm Just checking the pocket. check. Please let there be money for the pod. Ten. <laughs> Roll again. Eleven plus the six, seventeen plus the one more, eighteen. Yeah, there's a wallet in there. Okay. F- finally, I guess I'm going to go to take a pod and go as fast as possible to where it's... Yeah, uh, the, the wallet's got two thousand credits in it. Holy shit. Okay. Still, I will yeah, take you, a pod. You can get a pod back if you want. Yeah. Yeah, okay, it's it's gone midnight by the time you finally stagger into the apartment, pissing blood everywhere. Right. How uh, the fuck did you get back? <laughs> <laughs> Stag- yeah. He staggers in mortally wounded with 2,000 guys. What the fuck? <laughs> The only possible explanation is that he took a buyout. Quick, ready our weapons. I, I, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna point my, my, my uh, I'm gonna point my gun at being like, what the fuck is going on? Is this really you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I, I did get a little bit of torture thanks to you guys. I um, shoot V multiple times. Yeah, I, I ask him if it, if they know where we are. Do we need to? They, leave? they, they think. maybe, maybe it might be worth. At least stabilizing him. Um, I'm not entirely sure. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm basically not able to speak at this point. I'm just mumbling, and there's yeah. blood coming out of my mouth. So. Yeah, you, you, you are. I mean, you're quite lucky that the other guy is a doctor and stabilized you to start with. But yeah, you probably do need to do some sort of healing. <laughs> but mommy, I'm not sure I want to. <laughs> <laughs> but he's a liability. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> The only guy that can get into the only guy that can get into Merlin's place with a stealth of ten is sitting in front of you. So. That's true, but tomorrow you'll have five days to do it. Yeah. So. But but Scrump, I mean, you know how how deep into shit he's got. I know he's sneaky, but our girls are sneaky. I'm sure he can find <laughs> anyone. Just just stabilize him. Like so, somehow God wants him to be alive. Um, <laughs> Apparently, at this yeah. point, it's been divine intervention. So. The, the god, the god of the dice, has got plans for V. I was going to say, like, v, <laughs> v will stabilize you, but on condition you don't pick any more fights with walls. <laughs> the walls are your friends. I, I yeah. go fetch my fucking medical kit. <laughs> what would you get? Three plus plus nineteen. Uh, you failed to heal any significant uh, damage because V is so fucking badly wounded. Uh, v, you only gained one point of health back for the rest of the um, I'm going to tell the guys we need to leave. We we need to go to a hotel. I have money. I'll pay for accommodations. This place is not safe. Do we understand him? Yeah, of course you understand him. He's speaking. He's just... Yeah, but he's vomiting blood on the carpet. <laughs> sure, he is, but he's still conscious. I mean, you you know... You can understand what he's saying. Okay, is but he's not bleeding a, to death at the moment. Yeah, is there a doctor? Uh, no, no, you, you've no, no, he's you've stabilized him. He's uh, okay. Yeah. He's not. Which take? Anymore. I take all of his money. No, 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 I don't give them to you. <laughs> and I, you, you know, I've got, I've got what, any. What, what, you don't you even know I have money on me, mate. <laughs> I feel it. You, you just said I've got money. I'll take us <laughs> yes. to a hotel. 
Yeah, um, I did, but I didn't tell. No, if, if you're going to play like that, we're just going to break the party. I mean, come on, what the fuck? Me, me, okay, I leave the cash on his corpse as I drag it outside <laughs> with me, I guess. This will be interesting <laughs> scenes when I pay for the room. Just like hold it on the fucking desk like yeah. It's, it's basically going to be weekend at Bernie's with, with JV, isn't it? I, you, you left me there for dead, and there were countless times I saved you from, you know, in combat. You would at least assume that I have some emotional connection to you. Countless uh, times, huh? We, 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 uh, 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 we, we, I'll say we did try and launch a rescue mission, but, but there was... There was some snake guys there, and then we got like shot at automatically from a car. Yeah, it, it's, thing. it's okay, I saved myself. Now, do you want to have the conversation, or do you want to go to a hotel? <laughs> given that he's just giving your address away, basically. Yeah, let's let's let's. I'm gonna ask B kindly if we can look after his inventory for him. Since Listen, he's... they they don't know the address. They don't know where we live. They they think we live one floor below, so they will come here and investigate. But. If we're not here, they will not find out anything. So it's like, if we lay low a few days, this place is safe again. We can't use the pods, though. I just used the pod to get here. Well, they kind of know where this is anyway, so we can't use the pods to get to the hotel, though. So, Arch, do you want to do some local knowledge of somewhere that's within walking distance? Can't we go to oh, Arch's place? Idea. Hold on. Can't, can't, you go, go? can't you go to a fucking hospital? Well, okay. Like, yeah, we, we could probably do with going to a hospital. <laughs> uh, can we? Wouldn't there in this area? I mean, you, even you, is there a hospital in the area? Yeah, there there are medical facilities, not in the immediate location. One day, ask what happened to me. If... I mean, you, yeah, you, 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 they don't care. Why? Why do they care? We we assume we assume that some like ungodly like Rude Goldberg machine set of events happened, and you ended up back here. <laughs> well, what, I mean, you can get a pod to somewhere that has a hospital. Hmm. This sounds well, risky. What, I mean, this is in gangland territory. What are the odds they don't have anyone at the hospital at their payroll? Well, the the hospital wouldn't be in the gangland territory. How much money did you say the wallet had? Three thousand or two thousand? Two thousand. Right. All yeah, right. Let's, let's uh, we have the GM's payroll. approval. I guess we could take him to a hospital. It's entirely within your power to do so. Yeah, you can do that with me, but what are you guys going to do? I suggest you go to Arch's place. Um, I think we should probably guard you as you're healing. Do you think it's safe to go to Arch's place? Yeah, that's... Oh, Shad is also fucked, I think. Yeah, he is. But then again, he could say I'm lying, so... Well, he's already given us our equipment, and we have no idea where he lives, sucker. <laughs> that fucking decision came back to bite him, didn't it? Can you leave some evidence in the apartment that we have it in for Shad or something like that? Yeah, I'll like write a note. Left. Shad, you're fucked. If we really write, like, we can, what if he write, reads that note? We could write, like, we hate Shad in the, on the walls in your book. <laughs> <room. laughs> exactly. Yeah, but Shad, Shad has a key to your apartment. If he comes in and is, like, sees it, then what's he going to think? Yeah, Liva knows, like, Shad is a dickwad or something like that. <laughs> so just think it's banned to me. If if you it's want, you bans. can do that. But uh, yeah, are, are, you, are you going to a hospital or what? Let's let's go to the hospital. Let's let's not fuck yeah. up with notes. Yeah, well, we, but first, uh, just, I think it's fair. Like, if they find a note saying like Shad, you're found out. They already know Shad's found out. So, well, the thing is, like, Shad it. can lie. He can say, well, the the fuck, you know, that they they're just trying to set me up. I'm sure they believe him, but they got a address one store down, so I'd say it's relatively safe. We don't have any fucking code, so it's not entirely safe, but it's better than just leaving him in the wind. That's true. Yeah, yeah, we should probably do that. Okay, so you're leaving a note for Shad. Yes. Uh, how could we word this that doesn't automatically imply him? Uh... V Ooh. Um V got captured by Jax. Jax. Jax, yeah, because yeah. I mean he already knew he people found information out of him, and if he knew we was in their hands. Can you just a note that says Jax got to V? Yeah, Jax got to V. Okay. Yeah, that sounds decent. I like it. V is upset he doesn't have armor. <laughs> okay. Um right, so you, got, you what, should be thankful you still have organs. What are you guys taking with you? 
everything we can carry of guns and weapons and uh, yeah, yeah, you can armor. take all, all of the equipment that's on your characters. Um, oh, there's frightfully little else of worth in our shitty apartment. That's true. We do have uh, the uh, we have the bag as well. We can put it all in. So yeah, the okay. bag would be a good idea. Yep, you can put it in the bag. Uh, the shift of clothes, of course. The, uh, the nice yeah, clothes up. in the bag. Shut that's, up. You you can indeed take uh, take clothes with you in the bag. I'm I'm going to go to the window and do an awareness check to see if anyone is coming to our okay, place. You, you, well, uh, I'm going to tell you already that blood gets in your eyes and you can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, go ahead if you want to make an awareness check. Yeah. And he still rolls despite being told that you can't see anything. <laughs> do I still uh, do I still get uh, the skills, like a third of them instead of full skills? You do still get a third of them. Fifteen plus. Uh, I don't three. think it matters if they. No, plus one. one. Sixteen. We're just trying to get out of here as fast as possible. You you realize that your apartment doesn't have windows. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of an apartment doesn't have windows? What the fuck? Oh, shit, shit right. Let's hurry up here. Scrump, uh, you step outside, do an awareness check, keep out. I'll, I'll find our clothes, our weapons, and shove them in the duffel bag. I need your guns, your boots, and your motorcycle. Um, <laughs> Pretty well, much. The, your weapons, I assume you can carry on you. I mean. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep watch outside. I do Yeah, I go and fetch all of our stuff. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's, it seems all quiet. I mean, you see the odd resident walk past, but nothing, nothing alarming. Right, I call Kyle back in, and we grab V between us. And we start moving him out. <laughs> yeah, okay, you can... Threatening uh, to leave him every five steps. <laughs> yep, yeah. you can do that. Uh, I assume you're going to a pod, yeah? Yeah, we don't uh, really have a choice at this point. Since nope, 30 <laughs> credits to use the pod. I'll pay for it. Is there a <laughs> discount for dead people? V, have you noted down your 2,000 credits? Yes. <laughs> have you discarded the first 30 for the pod? No. No. This is why Chad handles the money. This is why I handle the money, yes. Why? Because then I give Scrump the money, okay? Yeah, just just let... V, just let Scrump control the money for now. (laughs) I am am the most... Fine, but but you're going to buy me a weapon, right? Um, Of course. (laughs) Okay, I'm not giving Chad the money, so... I'll I'll hold on to it. I need to get some trust between us before I give okay, it to money. Yes. Are you, okay, we'll take take 30 off your credits then. Yeah, I did. I, I took 60. 30 from the first pod okay, and 30 from You the paid for yourself. No, no, you, you only need to pay 10 for the first pod. Oh, I see. So you've got 20 extra. Um, Scrump, yeah, he's he's keeping the money. So I'm keeping we'll... track of the money just in case anyway. <laughs> okay. Um, right, okay. Uh, right, okay, yeah, you get... A pod to a reasonably nice area. It's like one in the morning. Uh, you stagger into the emergency room of a very nice-looking hospital, and a very stern-looking older lady comes over, gives you a disdainful look, and then calls some orderlies. They bring a stretcher. V, they put you on it, and they roll you off. Yeah. Be kind to our pet, dear yeah, sir. He's an I'll... idiot, but we love him. I'll, I'll make sh- I'll make sure that they know we have the money to pay. I will have the bloody hand over my wallet just to be sure while they're carrying me off. <laughs> right, um, V. If I were you, I would definitely give your stuff to the guys. Yeah, no, I, I will. But hopefully, they'll not be dicks about it. I'm sure they won't be dicks about it. Um, right, okay, and so we'll, we'll we'll end it there. <laughs> um, How you survive? <laughs> so yeah, tomorrow is what five days left. Uh, yeah. I'm just going to make some notes. Uh, right, so... What do you mean how I survived? Most of my plans work. You just never tried them. You, hey, you... you let, let's, rob, let, let, let's rob a drinking store. Oh, no, no, let's not do that. Uh, let's just go into this guy's house. Oh, no, no, let's not do that. Uh, he didn't even learn. He didn't even learn from it. That's the worst part. Of course not, because he got out of it. That's not how they learn. <laughs> I got out of it and 2,000 credits. Yeah, he got out of it like 2,000 credits richer. Like, Oh, by the way, uh, do I get any experience for this shit? Um, honestly, I don't know if you did anything successfully. I did do some athletics successfully, and I did That's do a few brawlings. You can have five improvement points for your athletics. Uh, what was the other thing you did? Uh, brawling. Uh, that's true, yeah. You can have five improvement points for your brawling. Uh, and a lot of combat sense checks. Uh, that's true. You can have five points in that too. 
He also got like some ridiculous um, like awareness crits. <laughs> yeah. That's um, ridiculous. Yeah, that's one. that's why he's got the combat sense bonus. All right. Um, okay. You you guys never use your luck. Why is that? I assume you don't know about it. What well, what's um, a luck? My luck's pretty low. So. Your, your luck then you, you see your luck V is five. That's five points you can use per session on any roll you want. So I can re-roll session. No, no, you can't re-roll. You can add those five points. Yeah, it's a, a, in each session you get your number of luck. Ah, points. I see. Okay. Uh, but listen, if we want to train into a skill we don't have, so for instance, let's say I would want to learn uh, strength feat. How mm -hmm. do I go on in doing it? Um, you use it either use it successfully, or you can be trained in it that you have to pay for, or you can get chips and stuff. Um, but you haven't used it successfully yet. So how many times do I need to? Um, how much do I need to pay to learn from it? Uh, and, and if well, I we'll, learn we'll, it, we'll, we'll worry about that later, dude. Okay. Because you, you're not in a position to do it. Um, right. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. I keep talking amongst us. I'm just going to make some notes. Are we are we still streaming? Or <laughs> uh, I think we are still streaming. Yes. Uh, just uh, if anyone's wondering like, uh, what what I'm making a note of, I'll read it out in a minute. Um, well, yeah, for the, for the for those who don't know, because <laughs> you might have just tuned into the B part of this episode, but um, Arch is playing with us too. Arch Warcraft, Arch Warcraft, Arch Warhammer. God damn it, my brain. Okay, that that, that was a hard. Hard. fighting word. Yeah, Arch Warhammer. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, he, he's actually an alt account of Chris Warcraft. No. Um, <laughs> do you know Do you know who Chris Warcraft is? Yeah, I do. No, 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 Arch, do you know who he is? Warcraft, and you ask me if I no, know no. who it is. Chris, Chris Warcraft, Warcraft, the guy. Yeah. Yeah, yes, no, no, it has Warcraft in his name. How the fuck do I know? He, he, he is uh, brilliant. Tell, tell, him, tell him what he's like, guys. Oh, God, Chris Warcraft is like, like imagine if a cunt had a cunt. <laughs> uh, it, it's, <laughs> it's, like, it's like Bob Chipman, but he doesn't do anything useful. Imagine if Bob Chipman was a failed NFL player. <laughs> <laughs> and imagine that he was a, a really diehard feminist. Yeah. Uh, by the way, didn't I manage to intimidate Martin into not shooting me? Uh, no. So the, the, I, don't think, I, don't think I still have no intimidate. idea how you get out of that. That was that was incredible, V. Like we need your gypsy look. I have I've decided. On, honestly, those rolls at the end when you were running down the stairs, I was thinking this is where he gets murdered. This is just he's gonna get shot in the back running down these stairs, and I couldn't fucking believe it. Four shots, not one of them higher than four, and it's like, wow, you are just. Aaron Jesus took the wheel. Was he, was he going to kill me? Like he had the side range. Well, uh, I assume he didn't want to kill me. Like, what were your plans? No, you don't know. Um, that, but seriously, that's why I tweeted out. Yeah, three was the highest roll. I tweeted those rolls out because I was just like, look, people aren't going to believe me. <laughs> They're going to think I let you go. <laughs> I didn't let you go, you know. Okay, as, as I was saying, it's <laughs> playing. There's obviously Sargon DMing. There's uh, Arch Arch Warcraft over there. Um, Arch Warhammer. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna call you Arch Warcraft, man. I'm so sorry. <laughs> to to be perfectly Christ. honest, I, I'm really shocked that I couldn't wrestle the gun away from him. I mean, I don't know what kind of roles you gave him, but no, 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 I, I don't give him roles. But I can tell you that he rolled critical both times you tried to do that. I was amazed. Because he's not a strong guy. Yeah, you're, exactly. You're, you're, you're heavily wounded, so that didn't help. But he, he, he literally got two criticals when you were trying to get the gun. I was like, wow, okay. If I would have gotten the gun, I would have managed to get out of the situation. I mean, I would have had more you, leverage. Possibly. but Possibly. They, 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 they may have shot you more. They may have been more aggressive if they thought you were armed with a gun. Yeah, I don't think V has plot hammer. He has gypsy hammer. By the way, doesn't the goon squad go come over to them? I mean, they did open fire in public. You know, it seems yeah, that the goon squad you, only you were, comes to you us. Yeah, but you were sat unconscious in that apartment for hours. So. No, no, no. Uh, like when they chased me and they fired four times and missed. No, that, you were in the building. You're on the sort of like sixth floor or something in the building. So. Yeah. Via sex machina. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not like people in the street could, you know, were paying attention to what was happening on the seventh floor of fucking an apartment building. Well, what would you have done differently, Arch? I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> so, in other words, you'd have been killed, okay. Well, what would you have done, Scrum? I don't know. I wouldn't have ended up in the apartment, personally. But... Okay, so you'd have been killed as well. <laughs> I, so I don't know how to make good decisions. 
Uh, that's that's my only summary. Just uh. right. Okay. Um. So, you guys tried to get into Jax's apartment block. Scrum ran into three serpent gang members sneaking around the back. Um. Then you ran back to Arch. You had a firefight, which you won. You killed one guy, you wounded another. A third ran off to get reinforcements, and then they did a drive-by on you before running away with the, when they started hearing the goon squad. And then you guys escaped back to the apartments. Holy shit, that guy managed to get reinforcements in, like, one minute. God, this fucking place was being fast. We are in that area. Actually, it took him four minutes. Shouldn't you guys get medical help as well? We already had it. No, you didn't. How much damage do you have? Um, yeah, Ar Arch could probably... Well, to be fair, Arch is just going to take two days to heal up, so he's okay. Yeah, um, um, I should be... Well, I've got that accelerate healing as well, don't I? Because yeah. he, he yeah. did the medical stuff on me, so... Yeah. Um, but you, I mean, you, if you have money, you could probably pay for some treatment since you're at a hospital. Yeah, that's maybe, what I'm maybe, that, maybe that we can try that next time. Our first, our first priority was getting the uh, no, 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 like this now. So next time you're healed. Yeah, yeah, we we could do that. Like, we'll still be at the hospital next time, though, so we can still do yeah, it. Yeah, just all three of us are in the hospital so that we all get healed. You, like, you like did said, end up. Hang on, just confirm something. You did end up telling Jaxa that you had met Shad, didn't you? Um, yeah, he, he did ask. Yeah. Um, so you revealed the building you live in, uh, that you were being helped by Shad. Uh, what else did he tell you? Well, what else did you tell him, even? Sorry. Uh, well, I did tell him that I'm working for myself. I did tell him that I uh, yeah. cheated Chad, because, uh, cheated Snake, because uh, someone stole from us, and that we were hiding from the East uh, gangers. Yeah, you told him about Mira as well. Um, Honestly, there was no way of lying to him. That's because your stats were so low. Yeah. You, you, you probably could have easily lied to him if you weren't horribly wounded. I even have the resist torture drug skill and it didn't work. But it, it, I'm sure it did help, but uh, your, just your stats were just way too low. He was getting terrible rolls uh, because of it. No, I rolled an 8 and he still didn't buy it. Yeah, but that's because you ended up adding like 4 to it. You know, that gives you a grand total of 12. Oh my god, did I add 4 to it? I should have had 6. Oh, yeah, whatever it was, you know. Yeah, whatever. Um, but yeah, you, you didn't... I don't think you made a single <laughs> one of those persuasion checks. Anyway, yeah. Uh... Miraculous stream, miraculous recovery for me anyway, guys. Uh, yeah. I, I got a jet, so. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, we'll end the stream there. Anyway, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. It's been fun. Um, how do you guys feel this session went? People in the chat say that Catastrophic. I didn't tell him about Chad. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Sargon, uh, people in the chat did say that I didn't tell him about Chad. We, we, I'm going no, to no, have I, to I, I didn't think he did, actually. So I'm gonna yeah, have... I mean, I, I'm not really sure. I think I, like, uh, talked about something else so that I... Uh, I, I diverted the question. We, I, I'll have to rewatch this. Script to no, see. no, no. I, I, I don't think you did. I, I think that's true. Well, um, well I, I, I think I don't know. I can't remember actually now. <laughs> I plead ignorance. I'll rewatch it. But anyways, we left a note, but we didn't mention Chad. So yeah, if people you mention it. You shouldn't be in trouble then. Right, so I've written down uh, Scrum for Arts, tried to get back into Jack's spot, blah, blah, blah. Uh, V got captured by Jack, sir, tortured, revealed the building the players live in. He's working for himself on a job for Amira, told him about Amira and what was going on. Jack, went to get Martin. V escaped his bonds, smashed the window, threatened Jack with smashed glass, managed to struggle with them, and shoved Jack into Martin and ran, using his gypsy luck to avoid being shot. Uh, then the players returned, went to a hospital. Get 
took me in, and that's where you remain until next time. So, we'll end the stream there. Thanks for watching, everyone.